Hi everybody, I'm Dean. And I'm Jay. And we, we are, are Paro DJ. DJ. Welcome to Sunday evening. Can you see? Can you hear? I can see us. You're yelling. I can hear us. <laughs> Well, we're in we're in the uh, the other environment tonight, and I always feel like I'm a little further from the microphone, uh-huh. and I have to yell. Maybe I don't. I'll try to keep. I'll try to be uh, volume uh, sensitive. <laughs> Happy Sunday! Yeah, glad to have you guys here. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. I see Laura in the house. What's up? <laughs> Um, we don't really have much of a, an agenda tonight because I was hoping maybe we would have another at least one cruise to talk about, but it hasn't um, come through. So we're gonna. Eh, well, it, it's there, but just not quite ready. Yeah. All right. I didn't even get the details on it, but anyway. Oh, I see questions already. How is Mama Jay? We'll talk oh, yeah. about that because she did, in fact, have her surgery. She we did. just got back a couple of days ago from that. What is everybody up to on Sunday besides hanging out here? Is there any Billy Joel on tonight or any sports or anything we should be aware of? I don't know because we don't have cable. I feel like we could put like a little TV back here behind us. And and as long as we can stream it, it could be an option. Like I could either picture and picture it or we could put it up there. We would need cable first. Welcome to the recording room. (laughs) We decided we wanted our like comfortable little camp chairs Mm -hmm. to sit in instead of uh, our couch today. Yeah. But, and y'all, P.S. I got a haircut. (laughs) Uh, also, P.S. I gave it to myself. <laughs> you can kind of tell, but no, I think it looks I'm good. I'm learning. I'm I'm gonna start crafting my skills <laughs> as a hairdresser. It's one of my goals in life. Wow! Because my hair is not complicated, so <laughs> I feel like all I need to do is just make it short. Because that's all it's gonna do is just it needs to be short. And then it doesn't blow around in the wind. That's right. It becomes more cruise proof. Yeah. Wind proof. You'll appreciate it. And it was better than that person in Florida at the Walmart. That sprayed you in the head. That sprayed Laura me in the head. Laura knows what we're talking about. Charged me extra <laughs> to spray me in the head with a water bottle. Ricky and Laura were there. Y'all remember that? I kept thinking it was Fort Lauderdale. Maybe it was Miami. What town were we in? I think it was Miami. Miami. Before okay. Horizon. I don't yeah, know if that's maybe correct, so. but I think so. I forget the one where I had that crazy Walmart haircut. <laughs> All right, so I am officially at 8 o'clock in chat. So if you said anything prior to 8 o'clock, um, maybe repeat it. Yeah. But let's see. Oh, Barb Lynn is bummed can't watch tonight because you're in Japan and don't have the Wi-Fi for streaming. Oh, Please wow. Have fun well, in have Japan. fun. Oh, my goodness. What time is it there? Um, wow. Are they like It might be a different day. No, I don't, I don't think it's a different day. I don't understand how datelines work <laughs> and stuff. Dateline. Um, yep, everybody behave. Laura is here. That's right. ALK knows. <laughs> ALK especially has to behave. That's right. Matt says he used to get ads from Royal Celebrity in Norwegian while watching Paradise. Recently got a big raise, and now you get Seaborn and Hurtigruten. <laughs> nice. Yeah, YouTube. That's funny. They keep up with you, I think. I think. It does like a census. Uh, how much do you make yeah. on average? Please update your income so we know how to advertise to <laughs> That's you. That's weird. Uh, so Amy Tracy said, how's Mama J? Yes, if you have been keeping it up, she had her surgery a couple of days ago. She's getting along fairly yeah. well. Surprisingly. Um, Because I guess what had happened is it's like a pinched nerve in the lower Mm. back. And so they went in and did some some ectomy and got... It's not a laminectomy, but it's similar to that, if you know what that is. They ectomied some stuff. Yeah. And it unpinched the nerve. And they told her, oh, it could take a while till the nerve realizes it's unpinched. Now, I didn't realize that nerves were so dumb. (laughs) Like, I thought, like, if, if I'm being pinched... And I unpinch? I know I got unpinched. So, But well, apparently nerves don't work that way. I guess not. I'm confused. but and So really, I think that's actually starting to feel better. Yeah. And it's mostly just the actual like incision that still hurts a little bit. But she's, you know, doing some Tylenol and getting along well, she's actually. She's stubborn. She'll, <laughs> she'll keep on she keeping is. on. She is. She'll she, tell you that, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, yeah, uh, and she gets it from her mama. <laughs> She do. Your grandma. Yes, she do. Uh, it, runs love in, her. it runs in the family. <laughs> Hopefully. I don't know if I'm stubborn. A O K don't answer that. A O K says, Oh, nice if you're new watching wallpaper. we love you. <laughs> hey. She sleeps. She watches Survivor. Is it Survivor? No, your right? grandma might be watching. Oh, she, she might. does watch. <laughs> I don't think they watch the live streams. <laughs> okay. They'll they'll they um, like to read the Facebook group or the oh, Facebook page. Don't but... be telling on us. Yeah. Mm-mm. I don't think that they really uh, Your grandma watches. Does sometimes. she watch the videos? Yeah. Maybe she does. Clear as a bell. Yeah, we're hardwired. Like, hopefully, oh, you know, the Wi-Fi, the home Wi-Fi is working well. It's been dreary here today. Rainy. It's rainy. Yeah, but nice and chilly still for, like, April, which I'm okay with because when we leave, it's going to still be in the 60s. And when we land in L.A., it's going to be in the 60s, so no strange yeah. weather thing, which is good. It's going to be warm, actually. No, I, I'm okay with it because I'm wearing a I'm jacket. I'm fine with that, too. Yeah. The drink of the day is um, water. Yep. 48 ounces of it. Three and a half pounds <laughs> of water right here. I don't know what this is. Like 32? Look at your iconic water bottle you got going. I love this thing. 
Ah, y'all, hopefully you're here for just some random chatter tonight. I am going to answer questions. And, I mean, we have some stuff just to talk about that's just stuff. Remember yeah. the old Sunday live streams where we had no point whatsoever? You guys like those. That's good times. Uh, someone with no username asks, is Princess the best for Alaska? In our opinion. It's uh, among yeah. the best, yeah. Yeah. The Carnival Corporation mm -hmm. is the best in Alaska. Yeah, so, so any of the ones you like the best are the best. That's true. If you have a cruise line you like, try them. But our favorites would be the Princess Holland Carnival Group. Correct. Um, now, the Carnival Group also incorporates, like, a lot of other brands, which Cunard. we haven't tried. Cunard. Cunard in Alaska. Alaska no, they do. They go to Alaska. Well, that's my favorite now. <laughs> uh, okay, says no Billy Joel. He's back on Long Island. Oh. <laughs> hey, didn't no, that's that your only song. <laughs> Eric did notice my haircut. Yeah, I'm working on uh, uh, shaping it. So it looks good. Thanks. I'm it trying does, to. Yeah. My, the general shape of my head is just round. Round. So I can do that. I'm just like, I went on Amazon. I got me some fresh clippers and I just went zzz, zzz, with a number six. Zzz, zzz. I did good the stuff. back. Yeah, yeah. Which you looks had the, nice, but you, I can't, know, you can't see it. I can't do that. <laughs> I would have like the diagonalist, crookedest line across the back of my head. <laughs> uh, Penny Hayes, hello from Georgia, watching the Braves game this Sunday evening. See, I knew oh. some sports were on. Well, you Gosh. cannot show those because we would get in trouble. Yeah, we got a copyright claim because I <laughs> showed too much of a TV screen yeah. uh, while we were in, I think that was our in trip Virginia. to Massanutten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I showed like a hockey game or something on TV and I actually got a copyright claim because I showed a television that was showing so a hockey weird. game. I had to blur it out. <laughs> Bill Snyder booked a dollar deposit on New Amsterdam. Yeah. You know Holland being sneaky with those dollars. Yep. To Panama Canal in October from San Diego. Awesome. And they don't generally announce when they're going to do it. They're just like, today only, dollar deposits. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. They're just <laughs> Random. sneaky. Yeah, they're sneaky like that. Uh, Cindy says, what was your decision on socks for long oh. cruises? Yeah, we put it to the Facebook group, and the overwhelming majority was take a small batch of socks, re or wash and rewear. Yeah. So that would be the determination. I guess, you know, I'll probably take like seven. Because what do we have coming up? We have a seven, a five, and a 15 that I'm really treating like a, you know, two cruises. So I'll probably take seven or eight mm -hmm. pairs and then just repeat. But I think it was like a 75% margin who was like, yeah, just repeat. You know, yeah. repeat them. So. Uh, let's see. Heidi is sitting and eating pierogi and watching us. A pierogi? Ooh, yummy. That's good. Those are good. I want anything that's kind of like a, a dumplingy thing. Yeah. You know I love me Usually some Usually like potatoes in it or cheese. Y'all, we had vegetables for dinner. Can I talk <laughs> about our dinner? We have been, because you know we're leaving on uh, Tuesday to go well, to we California. We were supposed to go over to your mom's yesterday. Yeah. No, today for, um, no, we, yesterday. Whatever it was. <laughs> we, we had a meal planned today that didn't work out, uh, out of the house. And so we had to, we're, you know, we're leaving in like two days yeah. to go to California. And we have been um, eating everything in the house. You know, you don't want a lot of leftovers when you're gone no. for like a month plus. So we literally had run out of meat <laughs> and protein. But I went in the freezer and dug out. What do we have? We have sweet, sweet potatoes? potatoes, spinach, and broccoli. Now that spinach was like 18 years old. <laughs> it, was, it, was it was like. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> when I opened it, it up, it was like powder. It had uh, The <laughs> it freezer had powder. sucked all the moisture <laughs> out of that frozen spinach. And it was dry. But I mean, little butter, little garlic, little choo 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 choo, and I made it. Was okay. tasty. We yeah. were vegetarians tonight. I could be sometimes. Other than I could butter, be a pescatarian. Can vegetarians eat butter? Just vegans, vegans don't eat butter. eat butter. Okay, well, yeah. I, there was butter involved. I'll say vegetarians that. can have butter. Yeah, Becky getting ready to sail on elation in two weeks. Bless her little old heart. Yeah, Aww, can't wait. Yeah, fantasy be class. Fun. There's two of them left. I know. Hmm, Melanie, suck cut. Oh, that's like a floby. Yeah, that would be. Oh. Yeah, she yeah. was telling you she didn't like No, the vacuum. <laughs> that was a suck cut, y'all. No, the, yeah, I call that the Floby, the vacuum cleaner where um, you just suck it in and... Grrr, I've but, seen commercials for that. That looks scary. Wasn't that like an 80s thing? I mean, I remember I like know. a long... When I, was I remember youth. Wayne's World, they did something with a vacuum, but I think oh, that was actually a vacuum. Or yeah. was it? Yeah. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen that too, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, this was just straight up clip clips. Yeah. Uh, oh, everybody say, hey to Laura. Hey, Laura. Yeah, okay, says the haircut looks just as good as your Walmart haircut. It actually does. You it's can a work funny there thing. Now. Yeah, I should apply. I could be a, a stylist. It's your backup career. A trim trim. <laughs> all I can do is a clipper cut. So that's all I can do. If you want one length across your whole head, zzz, put he, he's me, your man. Sit in my chair. <laughs> oh, Laura said it was Fort Lauderdale. I couldn't remember I what don't cruise remember. it was before. Good okay. memory, Laura. All right, yeah, because I kept thinking, I kept joking it was the Fort Lauderdale Walmart. 
Uh, portholes and pixie dust. Your content inspired us to start our own YouTube channel. Oh, I nice. like to use your name. Yeah, that's Port cool. Portholes and pixie dust. That I sounds. I wonder like what that's about. No. Dis- <laughs> Disney cruising. Well, or, Disney. or cruising and Disney. Yeah, yeah it's a good, it's very creative name. Jeffrey, what's up? Hey, see Jeffrey. you guys soon. That's true. We're excited to see you. Jeffrey, very soon. We gonna get tipping. Actually, we're gonna see Jeffrey before I thought we were gonna see Jeffrey. <laughs> we should get tipping. You know, we're going. Well, Jeffrey knows what I'm talking about. Tip. We're gonna get tip. We're gonna be tipping. Oh, Jeffrey, okay. In Ensenada. Was, it's, like, it's fine. We're giving Jeffrey money? It'll all, well, <laughs> you know, tipping tip tip glasses. Uh, but I'll talk about, okay, look, let's do a, a little announcement at 815 then. Okay. As to where we're going to see Jeffrey. Oh, yeah. Earlier than we thought. <laughs> so mysterious. Everyone's emailing me. Oh, gosh, y'all. <laughs> it's time. You should. What you should do one time is you, with the live stream, we'll just sit here and we'll do work. Well, actually. Oh, okay. no. I would need we already to use... do that in videos enough. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, I know. I would need to use this computer is the problem. <laughs> but uh, Nelly. Oh, yeah, I remember. Just wanted to give decent props. Assisted my future wife and I for a utopia hey. booking and soon for our honeymoon. She's very responsive. Awesome. Thank I'll you. I'll get back to your other email after this. Use her well. for services. Oh, that's true. If you're replying to her, her now. No, it was a little bit earlier. probably but... not going to write you back. Oh, but thank whoops. you so much. Claire Cox says, what are you doing in California? We are going on the inaugural, the double inaugural for Firenze. Excited, yeah. We got 12 days on Firenze, and then we will sneak through the Panama Canal to get back to the East Coast. With Princess. Yeah. Laura says, nerves are their own creatures. Yeah, I don't know. Why won't it just unpinch? Because if it's pinched, I know, it's a good mythical morning. If it's pinched, why won't it do it? I don't know. Jamie says, hello, thanks for the Turo video. Very helpful. How far a drive to... how far a drive to Four Winds trip from the cruise port in Maui? Oh, is that the sailing catamaran? There you go. Oh, yeah. Would like to do that and the some the low lookout on day two in Maui. What is it wasn't the, too far. No, I mean I feel like it wasn't even an hour to get down there. I don't think because we no. came. Yeah, we came in up at the top. I have to pull up a map to yeah. see. And we just had to drive down to, is it Ma'alea? I'm trying to remember if I'm saying the right words. It was definitely not an hour. Yeah, it wasn't even an hour. Maybe 45 minutes to get down there or something. Is it really that long? Well, I would have to we Google We stopped it. a few times along the way. We do that. Because we were with friends, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, And then uh, on day two. So you're trying to do that and something else in the same day? No, it sounds like you're doing the Look overnight. Out. So if you do, yeah, you should be. Oh, on day two. Yeah, that yeah. should be fine. I would imagine. Please have fun in Hawaii. I love Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, Neil, hope all is well. When were you thinking of going on MSC World America? Love to see when you both are on. Um, I will have to pull up the schedule because I know we've got that one on the potential agenda. So, yeah. uh, Johnny, what is your most favorite cruise ship you've ever been on? Still, if I would say the Celebrity Edge class. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I would say it's the Beyond we because confused. we were thinking yeah. about it. <laughs> And we actually like the layout of Apex, but I like a lot of the features on like Beyond and Ascent. So yeah, I don't know. We were like, it's like this, but and then we're like, this is not the same layout we thought it was. Yeah, because we thought it was Beyond, <laughs> but now we think we might like Apex better, if some degrees. Just the main atrium, yeah. whatever they call that area, the Grand, Grand Plaza. Plaza. Yeah, just something about that layout. I don't know why, but I think. They did do a better design feature, but we like the other layout better. Yeah. I don't know. Just the Edge class on Celebrity tends yeah. to be our favorite now, other than, of course, our sentimental favorite of Carnival Pride. Pride, yeah. In the spirit class of thingamajigs there. Uh, Jess Cody, I'm a huge fan. Ding dong. Oh, gosh, you're from the Ding Dong Squad. <laughs> Man, we need to bring back Ding Dong. Uh, Andrew says, hey, DNG and uh, DNJ and Paro. I can't read. <laughs> yeah, Paro is here in spirit. That's right. Yeah. I don't know that. No. Is he on the shelf now? Uh, no. Yeah, we need something back there. We need a mascot. We could just <laughs> we call just put Pero. something like Pero. <laughs> Dre travels. What airline do you find to be most affordable? Um, I don't. I mean, probably like Southwest or something. Yeah. Um, you know, Southwest Spirit. Is good. <laughs> These like, guys. Mm. Have we ever flown Spirit? I don't think we have. No, because of the baggage allowance makes oh, me like a little baggage. bit crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm, I so don't think I would be good with that. <laughs> So. Yeah, we do love bags. That's true. Yeah. Even though we do carry on, we do love to carry those bags. With well, us. I mean, you need quite a bit of stuff for as long as we're typically gone. So yeah, mm-hmm. that's why we're not going like an overnight. Yeah, but I use Google Flights. I hop on Google Flights, mm-hmm. even though they don't compare some of the airlines like Southwest. They don't put the budget airlines yeah. on there. But I, for the major carriers, you can I just look on Google Flights. I do Skyscanner, Hopper, or like you can sign up for like Kara and Nate have Fare Drop, but you pay oh, for yeah, those that's... services. But they do get you deals and things like that. Or um, some of the cheap flights. What, what was that? Oh, Scott's Cheap Scott's Flights. Cheap Actually, flights. they changed the name of it. Yeah, there's different ones like that, but I you think, do pay for those kind of things. Yeah, I think that's called Going 
Mm. Now they changed it from Scotch cheap flights. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bob says, sounds like my mom and grandma. It's always, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. They tough. They tough. Scotty, when is the next cruise? Um, Thursday. Yeah. Ye- Fidenze. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. We get on Fidenze Thursday. Soon. Cindy ordered a t-shirt today to wear it at Icy Straight Point Whale Watch. Oh, so cool. That's a good one. That's a good That's a good place to wear it. Too. Yeah. It draws the whales in. If you wear the merch, your hoodie for oh, the longest time. I know. I didn't take it the last few times. but <laughs> Your good luck hoodie. We still had, you know, decent whales as well. Like bubble feeding <laughs> whales. So. <laughs> Uh, it's 8.15. Okay. I don't have any fancy screens, but I guess we'll talk about what we're going to be doing on Wednesday. Sure. Okay. I thought I think Mary Ellen said, am I going to see you Wednesday night? Oh, <laughs> actually, that might answer that question too. Y'all, I didn't think it was going to happen, but we got invited to a special event for Carnival Fidenze, the um, inaugural, it's like an inaugural evening event. Is it like yeah. a naming ceremony? I need uh, to learn more about it. I don't think they're calling it. it that, but. It's an inaugural event. And Correct. it's because we are Carnival MasterCard holders. I guess they reached out to a good number of MasterCard holders. Yeah. And invited them to this event. So we officially got our invitation from MasterCard and we said, yes, please. So we will be on Fidenze on Wednesday for a cool event exciting yeah and i will try to take the camera and i will try to record <laughs> some things the camera. and we'll see what happens i'm sure you're gonna take the camera yeah well we're gonna be on it for 12 days but i guess if we get a cool little sneak peek but you get dinner you get to hang out you get to check out the ship for a few hours yeah, yeah. i don't know that there's any sort of like naming ceremony with like the godfather of the mm. ship like there was with jay leno oh, and yeah. venezia or anything like that but there's some kind of a ceremony that's in the big theater but i forgot what the thing said i'd have to find the picture i didn't look at it <laughs> i know it came to my because i think uh, yeah so is anybody else going to be at the thing on wednesday because i know i know jeffrey is that's right yeah uh and maybe mary ellen if is she, that said, what she said well she said oh where did it go oh no it left me Oh, th- when it's, do it, you guys fly? Will I see you Wednesday night? Yeah. So if maybe. if you're referring to the thing on Wednesday night, then yes, we will be there. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll see you Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So there was that one. Where am I at down here? Amanda's world. What is something you wish you had brought with you on an Alaska cruise going in mm-hmm. June for my 25th anniversary? So is there any time that we had gone... And wish that we had brought something with us. I don't always take my binoculars. It just depends on packing because they're a little heavy and I don't use them all the time. But I always wish I had them if I didn't bring Mm -hmm. them. So I'll probably bring them even though we don't have a balcony. So I'll have to like take them outside with me. Um, Yeah. So that's one thing that like for Alaska is very useful. Especially when you do like your glacier day and you're like really up close to the fjords and stuff. You can spot a lot of things with binoculars. And like... I don't know what else it would be, like a raincoat. Like if you don't take a raincoat. Well, I always I've, take a raincoat. I know, I do too. So that's <laughs> We've not, gotten really good at packing for Alaska. Yeah, yeah, that's not something that I didn't take that I wish I took. That's just something that I take all the time. Maybe more socks. More oh, socks. <laughs> hey, we are going to have a big suitcase that trip. I don't know if I'm taking 28 <laughs> pairs on that trip, but um, yikes. Yeah. Uh, Eric, have you been watching Tony's series on the Pride this week? No, no I have not. not. <laughs> Made me miss that ship. Yeah, poor old Pridey. She's she's back in. Well, I would say Baltimore, but she's sailing from Norfolk currently, mm. at least till. Um, yeah. Right, because she's she I'm came. To think. Yeah, that's where. It yeah, is. she came back up. Legend has gone off to do something. Is Legend going to Alaska? I don't even um, know. What it's Legend's going out of California year. to Alaska. Okay. Not yet, though. Uh, Judy, what ship are you going on out of L.A.? Carnival Firenze. And then technically Island Princess. So we mm-hmm. do have two out of California. Yeah. Lisa said, my water looks like water this week. Last week it looked like gallons of old fashioned. I think I had that weird, <laughs> that mango caffeinated Yeah, that's stuff not the prettiest week. looking drink with well, a clear bottle. <laughs> this is just clear bottles of Russian water. No, it's no, not. No, it's not. <laughs> There's all kinds of things it could be, I guess, if it was clear. Water. Daniel says, for sports, would I go to a Boston Red Sox game in Boston? I mean, I, I wouldn't not go. I don't really have a baseball team. You know, no, I need I need true. to claim, because obviously I've claimed my football team. So I've Who's claimed, like the lowest scoring one? <laughs> oh, I need a poo-poo team. That's right, because that's why I picked underdog. the Browns. We call them underdogs, oh, not, not poo-poo teams. Not poo-poo teams? No, underdogs, oh. yeah. Well, the Browns were a poo-poo team when I picked them. <laughs> but then they almost went to the Super Bowl. The color of poo-poo, <laughs> the Browns. Wow. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, yeah, then they got real good, and then I started regretting, regretting my life decisions. Regret. Um, I mean, I'm sure I would go, oh, because, see, I would have to choose either the Red Sox or the White Sox, because I love socks. So that is true. Guys, Red Sox or White Sox? Who's worse? <laughs> That's who I would <laughs> wow. pick. That's who I would pick. 
Uh, someone with no username says you both look great. Keep up the workouts. Oh, thank you. Hey. Yeah. We try and I'm at least maintaining. You're losing some. I'm girl. I've been, lost mm. like quite a bit actually, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Melanie, do you guys have any plans to try Viva River Cruises? Have you heard anything about them? I am not familiar with Viva. I've heard of them. Okay. Um, haven't had any plans to try them yet, though. But no, I do. I have heard of them. Hmm. Heather Lee, I have a long-winded philosophical opinion question. I wondered, after hearing the stats of a record number of first-time cruisers, what you think the reasons is or are. So I guess, say, I don't keep up with the news. I guess there must be record numbers yeah. of first-time people sailing right now. I honestly think... Some of it may have to do with, like, people watching TikTok. It's weird, but tic- oh, cruising yeah. on TikTok has taken off ever since the world cruise. And everyone wants to know what you do on cruises. And there's a lot of uninformed people, sadly, who just don't really what? know. So they go to TikTok for that information. Yeah. And they want to try out cruisers. Cruising, not cruisers. Mm. Um, and, yeah, I mean, they're figuring out it's a not budget, but a more economical way to travel to go a lot of places and have everything, most things included. And I just feel like it's, I don't know, because the economy is, you know, so high right I now. Guess, yeah. Instead of doing, like, all-inclusives, it's going to be more bang for your buck. Hmm. So more people are trying it out, but they're getting their information from TikTok. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like even slightly before the pandemic and all of that, cruise lines really started going hard on advertising and trying to draw in new cruisers. Because oh, yes. the trend that it seems like I was seeing was, like, loyalty was kind of not really being honored yeah appreciated well, right something like that it's like the loyalty <laughs> programs were almost being stripped or downplayed it seems like and they really wanted new blood as opposed to the people maybe it's not so much the loyalty but like with all of the cutbacks a lot of things got cut back and they were like bring on these new people who don't know any better and like the old cruisers you know got got mad about it but the cruise line seemed to be a little bit like who cares bring on new blood and then the pandemic hit which was funny because who were the first people back the loyal cruisers the ones who knew what to expect yeah right the ones who knew that it wasn't just a floating death trap out there that we were about <laughs> to go get on so the cruise lines i was hoping were going to take a step back and go oh man we really need our loyal folks but i think they're still focusing on drawing in new blood a lot well, of the times that's what all companies do after a while that's true yeah who cares about the old people? Bring in the new blood. <laughs> you know, there's always new people, new new blood to cruise. Uh, Quaxon just wrapped the Rotterdam vids, wondering if you had any updates on which cruise line or ship have given you the best or worst Wi-Fi for the price you've paid. Mm. Well, um, now for me, the further back in time I go, well, the worse yeah. the Wi-Fi got. And that just makes sense for Starlink and technology and all of that. So recent best and worst Wi-Fi. Celebrities Wi-Fi and Royals is always really good and pretty fast, but it's Starlink, like on mm-hmm. almost all their ships now. I don't know if all of them have it. Um, I can't really think of anything that's bad. Even Margaritaville, right. their Wi-Fi was fine, and I was really shocked at that, honestly, for just the two-day cruise. Like, mm-hmm. it worked fine. I could work. He could make phone calls, whatever we needed to do, so... Yeah. I can't think of any bad Wi-Fi that I've had recently. Like, sometimes you get spots that aren't, like, as great. Like, in Alaska, there's definitely some spots that um, it just doesn't reach to, so. No, I don't like the pricing of some people's Wi-Fi. No, some of my Wi-Fi is absolutely (laughs) insane how much they charge for, like, an essential thing, which is why, like, Virgin, Mm. they're like, it's essential as water these days. So they just include it in the price. Why can't all the cruise lines do that? Yeah, Norwegian. <laughs> Isn't it like 20 bucks a day or something? Norwegian, I feel like, has some of the higher Wi-Fi and That's the prices. gratuity. No, their, their oh. Wi-Fi is like, I think we priced it out, and it would have been like over a $1,000 or something no, thank you. on our Norwegian spirit oh, okay. for Alaska, but, Hawaii. I mean, we have to have it. Yeah, that's that is nuts. It is for us. It is as, as essential as this water. Well, yeah, to keep the businesses going. <laughs> I need 48 <laughs> ounces of Wi-Fi, I'm telling you, right there. <laughs> Uh, Tam Carp, how to contact D for booking a cruise. Ah, so you can go to paradj.com slash travel and yeah. fill out a quote request. Um, please, please be as specific as possible. Answer as many of those questions as you can, and I'll be able to get back to you quicker with those quotes. Oh, that's true. If you put any time, any year, yeah. any I destination. I love people, but I've been getting a lot of those, and they take forever, <laughs> and I just need something to go by. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Tom, rainy day in Chapel Hill. Good day to pack. Looking forward to vacation. The Firenze inaugural and saying hello this hey, week. Hey, I nice. packed today too. You did too. I, yeah, I mostly did technology and toiletry packing. I'm going to do clothing packing, I think, tomorrow. I'm pretty much packed, yeah. Because you say my priorities are technology. And, and toiletries. Toi- toiletries, because <laughs> I got to smell good. I don't know. 
Wesley, question, and I apologize if it's been asked before, but what's the deal with Sweet Caroline? Now, granted, <laughs> I could have picked a plethora, a multitude of songs that are overplayed on cruise ships. People have suggested Don't Stop Believing would have been a good I one. I don't hear that very often. Well, um, some people have said The Wobble, but now The Wobble, you dance, and that's fun. Right. I feel like with me, I don't know why I picked Sweet Caroline. It's it's one of those songs where the call and response section, something about a call and response song, if heard enough times, just gets on my nerves. He likes it secretly. I mean, I'll hum along to it in my <laughs> head, but because you know, I even if you hear Margaritaville a bunch of times and everybody's salt, salt, yeah. It, it's the, okay, the call and response to me gets real old. I don't know why that is. Uh, the only one I like is like when you get into a Queen song and he's like, dibba, 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 and you have to like, you know, that kind of Good thing. Good luck doing that. <laughs> yeah. I can't do that. But yeah, it's it's a call and response. It's overplayed and it just grates on the nerves after a while. Mm. Nothing against Neil Diamond. Would I go see the musical? Yeah, I'd go see. What's it called? A Beautiful Noise. I want to call it A Beautiful Mind. Yeah. Beautiful Noise. I would see that. I'd go watch it. Would I sing along to Sweet Caroline? No, I'd sit there with my arms crossed. And then when it's over, I would uncross my arms. <laughs> That's all. On the go with YOLO. Q. Hey. Q means question. We are heading back to London this summer. Would you redo the budget hotel you visited? We were in St. James area last time and want to try a new area this time. I would. I would too. It is very small. Yeah, I missed having like a closet. You literally yeah. have to open your suitcase every time you want to get something and then put it back in yeah. your suitcase. It's not the most ideal thing for like being in more than two days, I would say. Because just like yeah. that aspect of it. But... For the price and the location? Yeah. Perfect. I would. Yeah, Z Hotel there in Covent Garden. I love the Covent Garden area. There's two of them right there in the Covent Garden area, mm -hmm. actually. There's one on the Strand and one just off the Strand. Yep. Uh, and then there's also the Premier Inn. No, the Hub by Premier we Inn. We were going to stay there uh -huh. originally, yeah. That was another chain that we had looked at, and I really liked what they had going on, but we ended up uh, sticking with the Z Hotel. Yeah. Smitten by Cruising, or Smitten Bee. I think it's Smitten <laughs> by Cruising. Have you both cruised to the Canary Islands, and is it worthwhile? We've we not. We'll be yes. this summer, but we have not yet. Is it worthwhile? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure <Absolutely>. it is. <laughs> Debbie said, love the Rotterdam series, probably because I got on as you got off. We had a different piano player. Kervin was about the hardest working host I've seen. Oh. I saw the comment. Yeah, apparently um, we had James, I think, and he must have gotten off with us. Okay. Yeah. Our piano dude. Our solo. We only got to see him one night because they did like rotating music and you had to pick and choose what you wanted to go to. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Stephanie, in a couple of weeks, we're going on a princess cruise for the first time in like 15 years. Wondering if you're able to drop your stuff in your room when you embark before rooms are ready. On princess, I don't think princess so. Princess is a little weird about that, I think. Yeah, I believe I remember us like having our stuff with us until they said rooms were ready. But yeah. it could differ each ship. Honestly, yeah. we've been told some things and then you go on a different ship and it's completely different. Yeah, I would just the ask. Staff. Yeah. yeah, just ask because it you, you never know really. But I feel like in yeah. general, princess has been a not really. Yeah. Lynette going on Icon this Saturday. Anything we need to know. Just Ooh. have fun. Wear comfortable shoes. You will be having lots of, of steps. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything we didn't cover in the videos. No. Yeah, it, it's an awesome ship. There's so much to do. And try out all the cool food venues that they've added, you know. Yeah. And the shows, don't miss them. Mm, oh, yeah. And they're, so and good. There are more shows than when we went yeah, on. Yeah, actually. And they've expanded, like, the water show and stuff. Yeah. Is that the one they put effectors on or Maybe I'm, I might I think be on the wrong ship. somebody had said that they were going to add effectors to it. Yeah. I we missed so. a lot. I know. Am I going to go Enjoy back on it? it? No, but please have fun. Stop. I would go back on it. When the prices go down. Hey, yeah. Kid. And they did. They have been going down. Oh. Yeah. Orange Cone Vlog. Have you heard of a charity called Helping Hands for Cruising? Mm -hmm. I have. Yeah. Our friends at uh, Fantastic Cruising, I believe, had uh, mentioned that mm -hmm. to us. And Down Under Cruisers as well. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. We were on a cruise uh, on the Pride with them where they had some folks from Helping Hands, yep. some recipients and things on there. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, Matt says, the Talladega race ended before you started, or I'd still be over there. Sports! <laughs> you got to miss Ricky Bobby, Talladega Nights. Oh, yeah. Tiny Bubbles, are you finding cruise deals this year, or are you paying the high increased prices I've been seeing? Example, a three-day Bahamas used to be 99 to 250 and now it's 400 a person. Prices are up everywhere. Prices are very high. I'd say if you see a deal and you can get it where, like, the price can be changed if it drops, book it. Like, because yeah. they're only going up. And I've seen, like, some of Royals are coming down because they realize they've priced their stuff too high uh -huh. and they're not selling. So some of those are coming down, and then I found like a three thousand dollar drop for somebody today on celebrity so mm. just you have to keep watching them and 
book while it's hot and then you know hopefully the price will come down yeah but the deals are few and far between they are um, we are sailing a lot of princess this year because we have <laughs> casino. casino so we've got princess all around the med the whole panama we got yeah. a lot of princess for us it's so. mostly about the destination yeah. um you know we do love the ships as well but we want to try some new destinations and we'll get on whatever ship takes us there at this point that's true for the right price <laughs> Uh, Neil says, would you ever consider taking Amtrak across to the West Coast for one of your cruises? We've talked about this because Mama J wants to go to Alaska. Yes. And she doesn't like to fly. Uh -uh. So we've talked about, like, you can take a three-day train trip. I think I saw it was Kara and Nate yeah, just did them. a cross-country mm -hmm. Amtrak trip. And then they did a cross-country Canada train trip. Yeah. Uh, so we've talked about the old three-day Amtrak out uh, so that she can, you know, see Alaska. I don't and think then, I'd sleep well on a train. Uh-uh. You won't. I, and, like, I don't know that those beds are made for very tall people. They're not. <laughs> like, so that would be my only thing about that. It wouldn't be the most comfortable thing, yeah. but we would definitely and then try And a three-day train. So, basically, it would be two weeks. You'd be spending mm. a week almost on a train and then a week on a cruise. So. Yeah. But eventually, Mama J wants to get, when her back gets better. Yeah. We're going to try to take her on a, 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 get a close cruise first. <laughs> but she eventually wants to go to, what, Alaska and I think Ireland? That was her two places. I'm like, you know you have to fly to yeah. m m both of those, technically. There's right no there. train to Ireland. Now, you could transatlantic and then British Isles and then transatlantic, but That's good a lot gracious, of time. it really is. <laughs> Joan, do you have any recommendations for hotels in Seattle pre-cruise stay? Jay's haircut looks good. Thanks. <laughs> uh, we usually stay by the airport, and we like the Holiday Inn Express. That's if you want to stay near nothing in Seattle other than a light rail, which can take you downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, in town, we haven't really found any good picks. We usually just go where you can get a deal, which is usually a Marriott. Marriott yeah, Marriott properties, I get deals. Um, I mean, there are some. It depends on what cruise la line you're going with because there's uh, the Norwegian has more hotels close to it. The other mm. one, there's not really hotels near it, but it's a quick Uber ride. So Yeah, that's all I know. Yeah. Uh, Connie, you hinted last week at traveling with Laura. And Ricky, again, anything you can tell us yet? Not yet. We don't have any of those announcements lined up, but things have been booked, I will say. <laughs> something has been booked for this year, and something has been booked for next year. There you go. Uh, Bridget's buzz. During COVID, I started cutting my husband's hair, and we haven't looked back. Saves us a bunch of money. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, I go to the, um, like, the hair cuttery great clips, sp clip thing people, and they charge, like, 18 bucks to go bzz, to do that. Bzz, and yeah. do a little neatening up. And, I mean... I can do that. I'll pay myself 18 bucks. I'm for not going to start cutting my hair, but <laughs> that could be bad. Uh, Chris Derrigo, how big of a group of friends would you sail with before it gets too big? Mm. I don't know. Um, too big. Like I would say. Oh, like, you mean like, so the borderline of where, because my, my thing is always like feeling like we don't have enough time to properly like spend with everyone in a friend group. Right, right. What's your thoughts on a number? I, I don't mean, like maybe 20 <laughs> i don't know like yeah. i don't know like yeah we've never cruised with that many people at once That's true. other than like breakaway. the breakaway which mm. you know that was 900 that was or like something a bunch of people yeah yeah and it was great but um yeah 20 maybe <laughs> yeah i feel like i would probably be stretched trying to make sure i was spending enough time with with 20 um yeah. people i could do it i could too i'm we up to the it. challenge apparently 20 20, 20 is the official answer <laughs> Uh, James says, best cruise line for a single. Now, who's doing well? Not celebrity. Mm. Anybody but celebrity. Well, Virgin Voyages is really good with singles, as long go. as you're 18 and over. Um, and then Norwegian, they're solo cabins, and they've added even more to that that weren't solo before, but they've, like, made them for solo people. Mm. And they do really good meet and greets and have, like, an area um, dedicated to that. So those would be my top two. Okay. A-OK -okay says, do you, do you guys work? What do you actually do for a living? No, we are freeloaders. A-OK. -okay. We are freeloaders. That's it. We live <laughs> off the land. We have a small farm where we grow all of our own food. Wow. And we take it on ships with us. I don't know. We grew the frozen spinach that we, we did. ate tonight. It was awful. No, it was <laughs> fine. Uh, Deborah says that George Clooney claims that he uses the Uflobe. Really? So I am just following in the footsteps. Well, That's I didn't, funny. I didn't use a Floby, but I will gladly follow in George Clooney's footsteps. <laughs> Except for that thing where he was on the ship and it went up the big wave and that oh, no. stuff. I don't want to. I haven't seen that movie. Yeah. Anna says, Allie wants to know, did you finally get your March Munch Pack and April Munch Pack? Now, this is a sad tale. No. Still. Um, we have the February box. So what we're planning on doing for the rest of this week in Videoland 
is a mail video and a munch pack video. Mm-hmm. I was going to try to do it for tomorrow, but we ran out of time. So Tuesday, Wednesday, knock out a mail and a munch pack. Hopefully by Thursday or Friday, because if this event is Wednesday, I'm hoping to have like a little like, oh, look at this little forensic sneak peek and then go ahead and finish off Ascent because I feel like I want to finish the story of this last trip before I jump into actual forensic. So sneak peek, Ascent, and then get into the forensic vlogs. Um, so yeah, we have a February munch pack, which we are going to eat tomorrow. Now I contacted customer support because they took our money in March and yeah. they never processed an order or sent us a box. They looked at it and they said, oh, this is because you're a legacy customer or something like that. And something went wrong in the system. And she said she was going to get our box out. Toot sweet. <laughs> I was like two weeks ago. ASAP. <laughs> and it would be going out. Well, it hasn't gone out yet. And mm-hmm. they've taken our April money and they've created an order, which is a, a step more than they did in March. But it also has not shipped. Well, can't you just cancel that with them? Yeah. If they're not going to send it, I don't want to pay them. I know. I mean, we've been doing it for like seven going on eight years. And I mean, we probably have munch packed the heck out of some munch packs. I mean, I know point, there's but... teachers and students that like it. And I mean, we appreciate that. And yeah. we don't mind doing it. It's but fun. we need to get the boxes to do it. Yeah. So we have February. And we're going to put that out this week finally. March has not come and April yeah. has not come. So we are leaving on Tuesday. So we're not going to get to do March or April. Yeah. Uh, until we come home. So that's going to come out in like June sometime if it shows up. <laughs> but anyway, February coming your way soon. Yummy. And that's all I know. <laughs> it's April 21st. Yum. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, Greg says, thanks for the shout out to our cat, Viola. You were right on the name pronunciation, Viola. Cute. See, it's not Viola. It's like a Southern lady. <laughs> Barb Lynn says, I can stream this. Hey. I'm on the Western Am in Sakata today. Cruise ends in Seattle on 512. You two will be on the ship shortly after I disembark. Oh, yeah, that's so about cool. a month, I think. Have fun. Nice. Yeah. That sounds awesome. That does. I want to go to Sakata. <laughs> wow. Travel flirts. What's up? Hey, guys. Question Any plans for Norwegian Aqua? Yes, we do have that in the cards, too. We do. Talk to me later. Uh, looking <laughs> at the new list of restaurants, could this be the most perfect Norwegian ship, do you think? I read all those restaurants, you too. Did. And like the changing that they're doing of the way the, the floor plans are mm-hmm. and stuff. It Sounds confused me because I heard, I listened to your words. It was a lot of words. You were like, Metropolitan has moved and then this has moved. The and I'm like, bar and yeah. other stuff, yeah. So it's like Belvedere goes up to the whiskey bar. I don't know where the whiskey bar, the whiskey it's bar went to Belvedere. Belvedere. <laughs> but then M- Metropolitan seems to have moved into Hudson's or something. It's in the back, I think. Where did Hudson's go? I have to look <laughs> at a deck plan. <laughs> yeah, it was um, a lot of changing of but plans. But Caroline and Mel, guess what's still on Aqua? Nama sushi. <laughs> it's not perfect yet, is it? They still they kept Nama sushi. Yeah, I don't understand that, but to each his own. That's fine. <laughs> DJ J Tech, you guys hoping or yay guys hoping to meet you on Firenze May second. Can I take a selfie with y'all? Of course, yeah, we'd love to meet you. We're always down for a selfie. I won't do that when it's selfie time. <laughs> I don't know why. That was just like my air horn hands. Nice. For <laughs> Gabriella, Europe question: What are you doing for phone service while in the med for so long? Just saw a guy hit with a hundred and forty thousand dollar phone bill. I saw that uh, for a week long trip in Switzerland. Did he I, not know? No, oh I God. saw that go by, well, and that poor uninformed me. guy, technically. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now, funny thing, this is a twofold story. Do I have time to tell twofold stories? It's our stream. I yeah. can tell what I want. I'm only we'll t- get to chat. I'm only 15 minutes behind in chat. So twofold. A. We hear all of the stories in a lot of the big cities, not just in Europe, but everywhere, about how people on bikes and scooters will just come yoink your phone. So we've taken some precautionary measures there. Uh, And also the whole thing about having um, cell data. So I had been doing a lot of research on eSIMs and things like that. And what I realized is I thought I could do it with my existing phone. But with an eSIM, you have to have an unlocked phone. My phone is locked to AT&T. I've only got like three payments till I pay it off. And then I could probably get them to unlock it. But Mine's Verizon. Oh, yeah. Yours yours is locked to Verizon. So what it done did, y'all, is I bought. I'm I'm calling it my burner phone. (laughs) I bought a burner um, SE, iPhone SE second uh, edition, whatever the one that's like an iPhone 11. It came out between the 11 and the 12. Went on eBay, bought an unlocked little phone that I can carry around with me in Europe, Mm -hmm. uh, tethered to my body so nobody going to come yoink it. We done, oh God, we've been looking up all kinds of stuff. (laughs) We're going to scare people. It's not, I mean, just keep your wits about you just like in any city, honestly. This phone is going to be chained to my body. So if they yank this phone, they're going to have to drag my whole body with them. And mm-hmm. I'm going to break their bicycle. 
Whatever. <laughs> um, so I've got a little phone that's unlocked, and I'm planning on using an eSIM service, which I've picked one. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not going to like say which one until I try it and make sure it works, because I don't yeah. want to lead people down the wrong path. But using an eSIM, and you can buy global data or just European data. I don't know why I'm doing air quotes. And do it that way. So I have a burner phone with an eSIM and international data. And it's going to be like, so you just buy the amount of data you need and you pay for what you want. There are no hidden charges. So Pretty smart. I like it. So y'all, call me on my burner phone. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Oh. Spirit Wolf Eyes, can you do a live stream with dual cameras with different people on cam? You mean like bringing in special guests and stuff? We've done uh, that. Yeah, we brought in yeah. Ricky and Laura for a QA and a one time. Yeah. If that's what you mean. Like you could bring in and be like, we're on one side and somebody else. And you know how people do like the interviews? Yeah, that's we have the capability. Yeah. Unless you mean like they want a camera for me and a camera for you. like, But it would look a lot like this. <laughs> we could just draw a line down the middle. Maybe not. Uh, Sam just started following a few weeks ago and so happy I found your channel. Aww. Welcome to our crazy world. We're happy you found us too. On the go with YOLO. I see you rocking the icon goodies. Mine are <laughs> under the cabinet somewhere. Yeah. Some of them. Yeah, we'll we'll be doing giveaways again and whatever we just deem that we don't need to keep, we'll be going But you know, these water bottles yeah, apparently not are anywhere. not going because you love that water I bottle. I love this water bottle. And I'm keeping the other one as backup. Yeah, so the water Sorry, bottles guys. are not going to be given away. We got a purple one and a blue one, and she owns both of them. So good luck. You ain't getting those. <laughs> uh, Barb Lynn says it's 9.25 a.m. on Monday in Japan. So oh, it, it's, wow. it's tomorrow. It is. Already. Okay. I didn't yeah. realize it was that much different. Um, whoops. I was thinking oh, like Australia, you, you know. <laughs> Why did chat go way down to the bottom? Oh, it really did. Stop it! All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go faster because see, people are starting to re-ask the same questions because it oh. was like I didn't get to them fast Sorry, enough. Guys. I've already seen like two duplicate questions. All right, speed round. William, what do you like better, Amber Cove or Puerto Plata? Puerto I, Plata. That's Taino Bay. Yeah, I like the the lazy river at Taino Bay, even though it's it's deadly. But I like that better than just the pool. But There's I also a couple like, of options in Puerto Plata. I, I also like. like going out in uh, Dominican Republic. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, Emily Ann, favorite spot to see sloths in Roatan. Now, we've done oh, like, so we've done many. at least four. And they're all good, honestly. They yeah. are. There's Victor Bodden, Daniel mm -hmm. Johnson's, AJ's. What am I missing? Manawaki. Manawaki. We've done those four. They're, um, they've all been good. Manawaki was good, but it you is a... Go, uh, yes, <laughs> it is the most challenging because there is a steep incline. So if you have any mobility issues, Manawaki is not for you. Yeah, AJ's is small and cute, and it's newer. And there's guinea pigs, yes, and they come you, running at you like little trebles from Star Trek. Yes, if it's you so want to see a flock of <laughs> guinea pigs, I go that. to AJ's. But the top two contenders are Daniel Johnson and Victor Bodden. And honestly, I feel like, I think we liked Victor's setup just a little bit better, but they're both good. Are they trebles or tribbles? Tribbles, yeah. <laughs> the trouble with tribbles. I, I was wasn't like, going to correct was you because like, I'm not a Star Trek. Trouble clef is like music. Right. I was like, it's not The bad. trouble with trebles. Yeah. <laughs> <It's, laughs> I've never saw it. I just, it was a reference. <laughs> Bow, where would you be in Europe around August 17th? That okay, very that specific. is three days into the second leg of Island Princess. Um, I'm going to say we're going to be either in Sardinia or Sicily, probably Sardinia. So that's probably that one. Just, just my best guess. Yeah. So one of those Italian islands, uh, Kathleen, I'm thinking going on Venezia, your thoughts. Do it. It's good. Yeah. Rock it's it. Italian style carnival, basically. True. Keith says Pero the mascot would have to be a turtle. Agreed. Yeah. That, but when you squeeze him, he goes, bah. oh yeah, he goes, pa, pa, pa. <laughs> There you go. I have enough turtles up here. Y'all, merch. To show. That's what we need. We need a plush turtle that oh, when you squeeze no. it, it goes pa, pa, pa. We'd be as cool as Emma with Would that Hudson. Not... We'll make us some turtles. His name is going to be Captain but Pero. But we have to have a good thing to, like, you know, give money to, obviously. That's true. <laughs> like... The Neil Diamond charity. No, no, no. Does Neil Diamond support any charity specifically? Maybe. Captain Pero, the turtle. Nice. Wow. We just came up with we the best it. merch ever. <laughs> But it's not copyrighted, so somebody out there can make it. Okay. Go for it, guys. Be crazy. Art, Art Thomas says, your hair looks good, but I was going to offer you a haircut on Firenze. Ah, oh, <laughs> you can touch it up. You can you can help touch up some of the um, uh. the edges. Uh, Anik, hello from Montreal. Mm -hmm. Taking first cruise in July. Should I book my flight through a travel agent or a website? What would you recommend? So most travel hmm. agents don't just book flights, at least that I know of. They usually book flights through the cruise line. So... 
And then a lot of times you don't have a lot of control over those flights. So if you want to be able to pick certain things, just book direct through the airline. So that way you can control it. That's right. If that makes sense. <laughs> Gina, do you have a recommendation for a most authentic luau on Oahu going mm. in October pre-cruise? Now, I don't know that the ones we've done have been like authentic. Well, the nut, the, the nut, experience Nut Ridge. Nut Ridge was really good. I yeah. feel like it was small group. It felt very sort of homemade and authentic, like you just came over to somebody's backyard. Yeah. But it wasn't like the super extravagant woo show that you're going to get at one of those big commercial f- they fake say, luau's. Like, the one at the Polynesian Cultural Center, the Breath of oh. Ha or the Ha. Breath of, you know, whatever it is. Kamunra. That one is supposed to be really good, but it's a huge one. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to be in there with like 16,000 people, that's fine. Yeah. I I feel like I like the experience yeah. Nutridge one the best so far so just because it's a small group. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. So, because we've done two, right? We did the one at the Sea Life Center mm-hmm. and we've done uh, Nutridge. Yeah. Nutridge City Limits. <laughs> Pam Casperson, any plans on doing updated port guides? Love looking them up, but many are several years old. Yeah, the funny thing is most of them have not actually changed, even through COVID. The only ones I know are obviously Nassau has a new port, so that one kind of needs to be redone. And there's something that we recommended in Grand Cayman that shut down and one thing in Barbados that shut down. Um, But I think probably doing new port guides and then maybe going back and kicking some updated. Mm -hmm. Because we've talked about doing Hawaii port guides um, probably not Mediterranean, because um, after one visit, oh, gosh, I don't feel qualified no. for that yet. But, not at all. Hawaii, yeah. we could do that for sure. Beverly, what type of sea day activities does Princess do? There are eight sea days on the Sun Princess from Tenerife to Fort Lauderdale. Yes, they are. I have looked at that itinerary, and that is going to be... Um, I'm going to be working a lot, I'm sure. Me too. Yeah, um, they do a good job on Princess, keeping mm-hmm. the activities going throughout the day. They have, like, Zumba classes and arts and crafts and trivia, and they have, like, fun interactive things outside. And they're one of the better activities-wise. Like, And then sometimes they'll bring on, like... Like, if you're going to Hawaii, they'll bring on people to do, like, laying, yeah. making, and hula dancing <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> I don't know what they would do for a transatlantic, but, you know. Bring on mermaids and things yeah. that you find in the middle of the ocean. I feel like they'll have plenty of activities. Though. Pirates. They're going to keep people entertained. Yeah. They, Live they, music, they, game shows, stuff like that. All right. I'm, like, 30 minutes behind I'm now. Sorry. So let me go speed mode. It's not your fault. It's me. I'm running. I love telling <laughs> stories tonight, but I can't do it. Uh, Mary Ellen will be for there, and they, she thinks Jonathan will be there for the naming. Sweet. Uh, Jenny, question on Firenze. We're on the May 21st sailing, struggling to find good excursions. Have you seen anything fun planning yours? Uh, what are your ports on the May 21st one? Because we oh, have yeah, two totally remember. different itineraries on our two sailings. Uh, we have a seven-day and a five-day, so it depends on what your ports are. Uh, Herb just got off the joy today. Weather in Bermuda was awesome. I recommend the Swizzle. swizzle have you been there? The Swizzle Inn. Oh, no, Swizzle we Inn. Not. Where's that? Is it's there, in Bermuda. Is, I did gather <laughs> that much. Is it right there by the port? And, mm, oh, okay. No, it's kind of far. Um, let's see. Let's try to find other questions. Okay, we see there's where we started getting repeat questions because ah. I already did that. Wu Tang did suggest searching for air incognito because otherwise, them cookies That's true. will get you. Uh, Karen Davis. Oh, yeah, we talked about this last week. What GoPro would you suggest for a first-time user and new vlogger? Um, like I said, you don't really have to get the latest and greatest one necessarily. I would suggest anything uh, Hero Black 9 and newer. I feel like that's when about the time the batteries changed and got a lot more life in the batteries. The stabilization improved. So if you're doing GoPro only, anything 9 or newer. That's just my thoughts. We have the 11. Yeah. So. I ain't fancy enough for a 12 yet. So you answered that. Yep, we answered that one already. Kathleen wants to know, is it an EV in the background? It yes, is. it is. Yeah, I love it. So cute. But of course. Yeah, I think we have a couple of... There's all sorts of weird pop culture oh, references I'm, I'm back there I'm trying to get it, but i probably knock everything over. Yo, that shelf. I keep I keep. <laughs> There's a to lot on that it. Thing. Oh, Legend is on her way to Europe and then doing the med season. Yeah. Ah, okay. To do a dry dock. Gotcha. Eric says, doing side-to-side in Seattle, Royal to Celebrity, the terminal appears to be one building. Is that the case? Yeah. yeah. You, it's literally one side of the pier to the other side of the pier, it's I believe. Easy. So, yeah. It's only when you're switching to or from Norwegian to or from anyone else that you're You'd have totally to go. Yeah. switching parts <laughs> Pretty of far away. town. Yeah. Uh, Miami Marlins or Oakland, which would be the Las Vegas A's. I think people are trying to give me give bad, me teams. bad <laughs> teams. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Heidi, nothing says you have to pick a pro team. We like the farm teams. That's true. Detroit mm. Tigers. I have to research farm teams now. Like the Milwaukee Cows <laughs> farm teams. No. I get it. Um, 
Kathy, Derek with Island Time said he got an early invite on Forenza and had to agree not to release anything early. Didn't say when that would be, but I assume on the actual mm-hmm. cruise day. He got oh. invited as press, though, and we're oh. not, so I feel like it's fair game. <laughs> Unless yeah. they make you sign something. I have not yeah. had to sign any sort of contract. So, yeah, we yeah. are we are not in as media, so mm-hmm. we have not had to agree to media rules. So. And, I mean, everyone's going to have a phone. You know, yeah. So. Uh, Andy, we assume you live in Florida. Mm, no. Uh, with all your cruises you go on, are you Florida natives or did you move to Florida to make cruising life easier? We are not um, anywhere. Any- we're about 15 hours off of Miami. So, yeah, we're up near Virginia Beach. Nowhere near Florida. Tamcar, best place to leave from for Alaska. I'm a Vancouver fan. Yeah. I mean, Except Seattle's for the flight. Not bad. Yeah, the flights, yeah. Yeah, they're never a good time from Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, Wu Tang, social media content creators that don't cruise but have tons of views and subscribers are getting free cruises to make positive only videos and shorts. Oh. Yeah. Tag on. See, it's I'm, controversial. I, I, I never, don't know. I never got into shorts and stuff. Yeah. No. Amanda's World, have a major food allergy. What's the best way to make sure it's handled correctly on the ship? Well, when you book, you let whoever books it and let them know so they can tell the, the ship, or you let them, you call them too, and um, you tell the people on the ship as well. So. Uh, Sabrina says, fun fact, my now 13-year-old daughter thought when we said toiletries, it was toilet treats. (laughs) Mmm. Yummy. (sighs) Elena says, do you get sick of cruising? Do you miss being home? See, I feel like we do enough different stuff that I have not gotten tired of being on a ship yet. No. But, I mean, we've just been home for a month. month. Yeah. And, I mean, we're good. (laughs) Uh, John, could you compare, com, compare compare Virgin to Celebrity? You seem to enjoy Virgin. Any things that you didn't like on Virgin? The show variety is not the best, because like, mm. it's the same on all their ships. So if you've been on one of the Virgin yeah. and you go on another one, it's the same. Whereas Celebrity, um, you'll find different shows on different right, ships. Right, exactly. And, I mean, they are a little bit different type of out there shows for the most part. So that could get old fast, I think. But otherwise, no complaints. Yeah, I can't really think of any, any super bads. And I don't, comparing the two, that's the, that's tough. Yeah, they're a lot different. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to really compare anything to Virgin because they're outside the box. They're both just more adult, I would say, is what people like about oh, them. Because yeah. even Celebrity is family, but it just doesn't seem to be like only like, you know, catered to kids and stuff. So. Uh, Beth Wolf, we normally cruise Royal and went to Alaska for the first time last year. I booked a southbound Alaska on Caribbean Princess next year. What should I know about Princess? Now, that's a that's an open question. It is open. There's a lot to know about Princess. Um, I don't know if we I can get into all the things you need to know about Princess on here. Other maybe than send just, us like a, a message yeah. on our Facebook and we can kind of type some things out. Maybe not a book, but we'll type yeah, some Yeah, because I don't know if, if you're talking about specifically, because there's a lot of things to know sort of about their dining and how things in their app work. There's a lot, and, yeah. Yeah, there's but a, there's, you're gonna have a great time because they do Alaska really well. Yeah, so, so yeah. good choice going from yeah. Royal to Princess, I would say for Alaska. Hundred yeah. percent. Anik taking first cruise in July. Oh, that was the flights. We see, I already handled that one. Oh, yep. <laughs> uh, Johnny, how do you cruise so much? We own our own businesses and work for ourselves, which gives us the freedom to do that. And folks like you guys watching the videos yeah. helps provide the um, income to and do that. And booking cruises so, with me. So thank you guys very also much. Also that. We appreciate yeah. it. Um, Air Force less. Ding dong. Hey, from Chile, Norfolk. Staying over after getting off the Pride 15-day uh, repositioning. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It, it is, is a little, <laughs> little chilly right here, isn't I it? hope you had a good time, though. Yeah. Joe Thomas, how many cruises have you been on? I think we just finished 118. That sounds and right. And Firenze inaugural will be 119. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Emily, are you going to try to go to Greenland again? Not anytime soon. We mm. don't have it planned. <laughs> No, we're trying to do some other things before we try Greenland again, like Norway and other things, other stuff. (laughs) We would like to, though, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nona, what part of California are you going to be in? I live in Central California. L.A. Long Beach. Mm -hmm. Where the cruise ships? Well, okay, there's cruise ships in San Francisco and (laughs) stuff, too. But where the our cruise ships are going to be? Uh, oh yeah, Dino Diner at the Piano Bar in Walt Disney World. Sweet Caroline responses, "This song sucks." Laura has. Oh, is it really? Laura does that. Or no, she goes, "Hate this song." <laughs> I think so. Um, yeah. Um, all right, I'm looking for random questions until I got okay. There's that. I already answered that one. Oh yeah, see, Laura says hers is "Hate this song." Oh, I knew that. Song. See, there you go. Um. All right. Well, look, it's a lot of comments rather than questions. There we go. Andrea doing Edge to Alaska this summer for those of us who have to wait to board to book dining reservations. Oh, are there plenty of good time slots or are we doomed to eat at weird times? 
I don't usually find great times no. once you're on the ship. Now, why do you have to wait until you board to book your dining? I wonder. To they have, I'm trying to think. Celebrity. It's like if you book like a meal plan on Royal, like you book mm. on the ship when you get on board. But I don't know that Celebrity does that. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I can't think of any instance of why you would have to wait until you get on the ship. Maybe I have missed something because we always try to book ours, especially that class. I love the four dining rooms and I always get my dining time set up. Yeah, maybe give them a call, or hmm. whoever you booked with, um, just to kind of like inquire about that. Make sure that's right. Wu-Tang, does Tinder work on cruise ships? I actually don't know. We don't know. I uh, have never tested Tinder on a cruise ship, but I'm sure some <laughs> chat could actually uh, could let you know. I don't have that app. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, let's see. Random questions, because I'm still about a, uh, about 25 minutes behind. Oh, jeez. Uh, Badger at Toad Hall, yes, yeah, says Amtrak sleeper cars are not good for six foot plus. plus. Well, you're the six foot. <laughs> yeah. And I'm the plus. <laughs> Daniel H., would you guys ever go on a cruise without each other? I don't think I would. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any des desire to, so I'll say yeah. no. We do this. We like the same thing. So even if we were like, I don't know, try to like be like, you go do this and I'll do that. We'd end up in the same area anyway. Oh, well, this would be if you're <laughs> oh, on together. completely different ships. Now I don't want to go or alone. Whatever. <laughs> or one of us got left I mean, home. maybe I would go like with my sister or something, like a girl's trip something like that but, but then but it wouldn't be recorded <laughs> and her husband would just get a cabin ourselves on the same <laughs> ship so whatever you and fluffy That's uh fine. bob with all your cruising experience if you were to work on a cruise ship what job would each of you choose mm -hmm. funny thing is we both actually were we did uh, e e did we either apply we or applied. we had worked up applications no, i was going for a dj and karaoke host uh position at the time, I was going to want to work with the kids club because I was like a nanny and, and um, doing teaching and stuff, but or looking into doing teaching. But now I would probably like do something with entertainment or excursions, like take you on snorkeling trips and stuff. I know that's not what you do, but that should be a position. Yeah, something about, yeah, you just need to go out and do, like, water excursions. Or teach Zumba or something fun. Yeah. Yeah. Air Force Les, have you ever gone on the USS Wisconsin in Norfolk? Maybe as a school field. No. Not. School field trip, I know we went to the Nauticus Museum, but I don't think we went on the USS Wisconsin, which is, like, right there. So I'm going to say I don't think I have. <laughs> I know you have not. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. uh, Les Moss, do you have any tips for cruising out of Mobile on the Spirit? We've only gone to Mobile one time, and it was for ecstasy. Um, so not specifically. Yeah. No. Uh, Jamie, would you ever do a group cruise? Not personally, but we will crash somebody else's group cruise <laughs> in a heartbeat. Or we put our schedule out there, so if anyone ever wants to join, True. that's what that's for. Uh, Nancy, do you watch for cruise price drops after somebody books through you? I do. I can't find like necessarily all of them because sometimes they're tied mm. to your loyalty numbers so i always tell people if they see something let me know as well so that way we can get you the best deal yeah dino diner have you done the alaska marine highway system from bellingham to juno we actually haven't ridden any of the ferries um around no. alaska yeah that would be cool because we were going to do a land trip uh at one point and we were incorporating some of the ferry mm -hmm. system but it just didn't didn't happen Dre Travels, do you find yourself working at all hours or do you have specific hours that you work? Now, you're bad at that. <laughs> you do not have I office I will get hours. off this live stream yeah. and go work probably till like 1 a.m. answering yeah. emails and stuff. I don't, I need to have like better like times, but because we travel all the time, it's just when we can get to it. So, but we work probably like six to eight hours every day, like yeah. a normal job. But so. it's like so sporadic. But it's very you'll be, sporadic. Right. You'll yeah. be like an hour on and then a couple of hours <laughs> off and then two hours on, but it's like all day. It's spread but over the whole But if there's like day. obviously an emergency or something that needs attention, yeah. of course, we're going to drop everything. We've had to skip ports before, but that's oh, just yeah. part of our lifestyle and we get we understand yeah finding balance while traveling yeah. but i think we we do fairly well like we know certain sea days we're just not going to go hard out and around the ship it's just going to be a work day it doesn't and, make the best content but well that's why we double up days sometimes yeah, yeah. we've had to do that more which is okay mm -hmm. caleb will you be on star of the seas no no, no plans to sail star no um nope, okay people talking about googling Jamie and Nassau, can you walk to Margaritaville and how long does it take? Yeah, yeah, we actually showed that in our Margaritaville Resort video. I mean, I feel like it's, it's not that long. It's a half a mile, maybe a little over a half a mile there mm -hmm. and a half a mile back. Super easy walk. So, yeah, we, I think we actually tried to show the route in our video. Yeah, yeah we did. Um, let's see. <laughs> Henry, if people have met you in person, nobody is going to yoink anything from you. I mean, I'm kind of intimidating <laughs> to yoink something from, I imagine. So, yeah. 
Uh, Melanie did the research on eSIMs recently for a trip to Europe. They must legally unlock it once you've made three months of payments on the phone. Interesting. Oh. I just chatted with Verizon and they did it for me remotely. Good to know, Melanie. Wow. But by the time I realized I didn't want to take my main phone off just the ship. Just in case, yeah. I figured I'm just going to use my burner. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it's so weird because like burner phone. Anyway. Well, Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Ken, five years from now when the older cruise ships have all been retired by the cruise lines, what happens to the ports of Tampa, Jacksonville, and other large ships can't access? They will lose the cruise business, I, I guess. I would really hope that they don't do that. And I think some of the cruise lines, like Norwegian, is still making smaller ships. And I think John Heald asked the other day if people would really like if they continued to make like a spirit class sized ship. Yeah. So I don't know that they're going to go to all mega ships because that would be really dumb. But but I don't think they're going to make any new ships that size. I feel no, like they're no. going to have to hold on to some of the old rust buckets as they become, you yeah. know, well, the Norwegians, the smaller ones. Yeah, like I wonder, so could, could Prima and Viva fit under the Tampa Bridge? That and I don't know. That's the problem. And it used to be, sadly, the uh, for, uh, for, as the Baltimore Bridge right. uh, was a, a thing where they had to limit the sizes of ships in Baltimore. But I know with the rebuild, I think they are going to make that bridge higher. Oh, so. are they? Yeah, I think I think I saw in the plans they are intending to to make that a taller bridge so that it can accommodate larger ships. Maybe in Baltimore, we'll see. Assuming the other bridges are not a hindrance to that too, like yeah. height wise. Gotcha. Eric, it may be a dumb question. Eh, there are no dumb questions. Do you have cell phone signal when in Alaska? It is in the U.S., but wasn't sure of the cell service. Yep, you and it's indeed. pretty good in most of the ports. A few are like the smaller ports. That's not the best, but yeah. you definitely do have cell service. Yeah, same thing with um, San Juan. St. Yep. Thomas, mm -hmm. uh, any U.S. territories, my, check your individual plan, but I'm able to use in those ports. Mexico. Well, now that's, well, I, that's I have a special upgraded plan, plan yeah. but I mean, any U.S. port of call, mm -hmm. you should also have cell service in, but always double check your plan, because anyway. Hey, y'all, <laughs> it's nine o'clock. Already? You know what happens at nine o'clock? Besides me, hey, I'm down to 15 minutes behind in chat now. It is Orange Hat Hour. So what is Orange Hat Hour? That. It's the same as what we've been doing. Well, Except, that just made me look really orange on the yeah, side of my the, face. The, I was like, Whoa. the coloration. <laughs> it's time for more chat with orange hat. <laughs> and now we can talk about poop and stuff. No, I oh. usually let's don't talk about <laughs> let's poop. Let's not do that. I've already been talking about poop. It doesn't matter. Uh, orange cone captain Perry the turtle who says pa 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 copyright twenty twenty four. That's right. If I've spoken it <laughs> into existence, I slapped a copyright on it right That's there. Right. Monica, how do you feel about Alaska in May? Is it too cold? It ice, is colder ice, and there's usually snow on the mountains, which I love because it's like, oh, Alaska. I don't think it's too cold, but you definitely need more layers. Yeah. But it's I, beautiful. I really enjoy May. And I, that's probably my favorite. The early season because yeah. we've done the fringe. We've done the May. We've done the September. I prefer the May over the September because it's more snow as opposed to more rain. Mm -hmm. uh, and it just feels Alaska. And it's less crowded. <laughs> also that. That's really nice. La uh, oh, that might be LAX life. I'm going to say lax life. New to your channel, however, I rack my brain on how you afford to do the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back cruises. Can you explain? Um, the cruising is actually pretty much solely supported by ad revenue from the channel. So folks watch the videos. You give up a little bit of time to watch ads in the videos. And we get a check every month from Google. That mm -hmm. money, 100%, goes back into booking more cruises. Correct. So that's it. The Yeah, it's, it's ad supported. And then, you know, we throw in some money on top of that, obviously, too. But, <laughs> yeah. hey, it's almost... Maybe a couple of years, our travels will be fully supported by the YouTube. But. Yeah. Carrie, how do you keep track of all your cruise schedules? Excel? Mm -hmm. A <laughs> little bit of Excel, notepad. but mostly Windows <laughs> Notepad. I am the king of Notepad. That's it. <laughs> um, all right, there's that. And then, yeah, Heidi says work jobs on the cruise. Right, because you do travel agency mm -hmm. tasks from the cruise. I do yes. have a little book bookkeeping work and things on the side, but it is primarily um, travel agency and ad revenue, yeah. Nelly, speaking as a Pacific Islander, a real luau is more backyard intimate. Yeah. The extravaganza is the touristy. Yeah, so the most authentic one we've done then is like the Nutridge style. I like it. Judith wants to know, do you ever use a full face swim mask or a snorkel mask? Don't know I if I should have, take mine or get a regular. I have one. I prefer my regular one. That's just me personally, just because I don't feel like I can dive down as well. And they say it can build up like, like carbon... I don't know. Monoxide. That one. I guess. Carbon monoxide. Or dioxide. Excuse me. You you're don't using it. <laughs> you're breathing out like, carbon monoxide now, don't you know? You're a, you're <laughs> a car dioxide. engine. Carbon dioxide. <laughs> if you're using it like for really long periods of time without taking a break. I don't know. I'm sure that's probably true. But so just the traditional for me. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think only if you take like a gas engine and put it in there <laughs> do you have carbon monoxide. But anyway. Um, G Bale, glad you're going to be on Island Princess. We love it and the crew went through Panama Canal and Norway cruise. Perfect for mm. both. Yeah, we got 25 days on Island Princess. No. 35 days. Well, not all at once. No, 15 and 20, <laughs> though, don't we? We'll know that ship very well. And the crew, maybe, if it's the same crew between the two. Oh, yeah. They're pretty close together. But I'm glad, because it does the historic locks, and I yeah. think that's cool. The first time we actually go through the locks will be the historic locks. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, Bow says that their Jeb Brooks, which is a plane vlogger, has been doing Amtrak reviews with exact measurements of the beds. Oh, I am that's scared of that. smart. <laughs> Nellie says, I am 6'4 and fit in their small roomette with ease. Okay. I mean, I'm, I got one more inch there, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, John, first Alaskan cruise in two weeks. Any advice? Please have fun. And if you have not, maybe check out our Alaska port guides. Those are great. we do have those. Yeah. yeah. Perodj.com slash port guides. We have a six-part series all about our favorite Alaska ports. Lots of good tips in there. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Andy, what are your thoughts on MSC Yacht Club versus Celebrity Retreat? Now, we've never done Retreat. We have not. But we've done Yacht Club. I mean, for the price, I would still probably go with MSC. Just because the bang for your buck, I think, is really, really there. What they offer and what's included. I don't know because I haven't done Retreat. So, mm. Derek, any information about Explora Journeys Explora 1 going on her in January? I am unfamiliar. I've done training on it, but no, I don't have any information. <laughs> Something to add to the list. Yeah. TX Pepito, what's up? Hey. Uh, do edge class ships allow you to sleep with the window open at night? Now, that must be like an infinite the balcony infinite thing veranda. or whatever. Alaska Cool Breeze would be awesome. I'm sure you could do whatever you want, but I don't know that it's like advised. <laughs> like, I know. I wonder, I does that put why. like a strain on their heating system? I don't know. Or... I've heard like the captain has like a button and he can close them all if he wants to. Oh, so maybe true. they do that at night. I don't really know. He'll be like, <laughs> good luck getting that breeze. Yeah, I am assuming that if you have that window open, the heat in your cabin would turn off. But if you're there in the summer, you might not care that your heat turned off and you get that nice chilly fresh air. Yeah. I have no idea. Hmm. Andrew, how effective is Carnival's app when booking things on board the ship? How effective? Like, um, oh, like one hundred percent. Like booking know. like activities and stuff. Maybe or, or excursions. It depends. Well, I mean, their you... app is really good. I, I, they're one of my favorite. They're, they're apps. definitely out in the top. Yeah, because what would you book? Excursions or I always dinners? I just like put a little heart next to stuff I want to do, and it like you know finds them. So yeah, I, I have not really had mm-hmm. issues with our app. Every now and then the check-in system for like brunch will break, but that's been... <laughs> it's few, just popular. That's been rare. I love their app though. It's great. Sugared Witch, I think I missed it. When is your next cruise? Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, Very Thursday. Soon. This coming Thursday. G-Bell on Island Princess, find the doors that are forward from decks 10, maybe. Gives really great views of the front of the ship. No blue shields in your way of photos. Nice to know. Thank you. All right. We've got to get all them Island Princess things. Um, <laughs> Love Travel wants to know, D, can you do a packing video for Carry On? That's one of the more popular questions I've already days. packed. So the answer is no. I feel like I could do an unpacking video. Or I'm already packed, so I could pack back up on a uh, ship to show you what I take and how I pack it to take to the next ship. Like, that would work. I just don't know if I want to do one at home because, like, I don't know. I already know what I take. It's weird. That's yeah. just me thing. I think the answer is right now we do not have one plan. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's I did an answer. Alaska one years ago, and I've done several yeah. unpacking videos. Yeah. But I think, was that Alaska? That had to have been a big suitcase. It was. And oh, it yeah. will be this time, too. So That's true, actually. Alaska, Alaska and the carry-on carry on is hard. Laura can do it, though. She crazy. Laura and Ricky. Yeah, they did it. She crazy. They pack in one carry-on together. No, they don't. They <laughs> I don't. think they did have some of their stuff together. Claire, when will you be going on an Antarctica cruise, and would you do a cold plunge? Now, we're trying to see <laughs> if we can get Antarctica in 26. I don't think I will personally do a cold plunge. I would, as long as I feel yeah. like my body wouldn't go into shock. Yeah, that's But I, I mean, we jump in cold water all the time. Not that yeah, cold. Yeah, not that cold. I went into the cold pool at the um at the, at the the Iceland place. Yeah. Sky Lagoon. It was like 50 something. I did that briefly. I feel like I would, but I would really need to get warmed <gasps> up quickly because my body, like if I get cold, it takes a long time to heat back up. Yeah, you do. So. Stacy, next cruise is Jubilee. First time in Havana Balcony. Have you done mm-hmm. Havana and mm-hmm. have you done Jubilee? We... Did Havana on Mardi Gras. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not think it was 
worth it for me just personally. Just on that class. On yeah, that it's class. better on like <clears throat> the Horizon yeah. type class. Yeah. Well, it's um, not the Horizon class. The, you know the, the Vista class. The Vista yeah, class. the XL class Havana to me was not worth it. I mean, if you have it booked, don't unbook it. Give it a try. I would not book it again. Personally. The area is just not as good as it is on the other ship. No, not nearly. Um, and we have not done Jubilee, no. We've done Mardi Gras two and a half times. <laughs> celebration. Uh, and Celebration um, once. But. Emily, what... Uh, I don't know. Let me get my mouth working again. Emily, what riverboat cruise line do you recommend? Now, I we haven't done a riverboat. That makes me think of like them paddle wheelers you steaming down the Mississippi. Cruise? Oh, maybe. Yeah. The only one we've done is Ammo Waterways, which cool. I would definitely recommend. It is on the pricey side, but it includes... A lot. <laughs> yeah, but it's being that it's the only one we've That's done, the it's the only done. one we can recommend. So, <laughs> At this point, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, any plans for an Africa or Middle East cruise? Not yet. Not yet. I would like to do some. Can you float right down and like see elephants and lions and stuff mm. in some rivers? You can do river cruises to Africa. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, that'll be 2028. We'll try to stick that <laughs> okay. in somewhere. People are going to hold you to that. You well, know? 26, like I said, we're trying, we're hopefully maybe thinking about South America and I don't even know what else we said. Maybe some, I don't know, some South Pacific or something. Yeah. Uh, which Jessica, which Jessica that. said, do you plan on doing a Tahiti cruise at any point? We're hoping in 26. We would love to. Uh, we don't have any room in 25. 25 is pretty jammed it's up full. with uh, big adventures. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully maybe in 26. Yeah. Uh, Orange Cone, 117 days till Alaska. What should we expect weather-wise mid-August? Now, weather in Alaska is always unpredictable. Take rain layers. Always. But take a t-shirt, because August, we had 80-some yeah, <laughs> degree day, I believe it was in Juneau, and it was hot. Skagway, and it was very that hot. bus ride. Because the people were like, cold with the air conditioning, we were boiling in the back. It was lovely. You will need... <laughs> All you need shorts and a t-shirt, and you need raincoats, and you need a heavy coat. You need a lot of clothes yeah. for August. You don't really need like your heavy, heavy coat in August. Yeah. I would say like a rain jacket and like a fleece or a hoodie or like a sweatshirt, something like that. Mm. Not like a down jacket though, generally. Down, 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 down. Anna says, Allie wants to know, do we have farm markets where we live? Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, they have watermelons on sale all the time. It used except to be like right $1.99. Now. now they're like three ninety nine. And watermelons have gotten more expensive. <laughs> they will sell. We have um, markets that specialize in corn. Yeah. Because we go over and get corn from the farmer's market. We haven't in a long time. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, yes, we have lots of farm markets. Lots and lots of farm markets. Uh, Andrea said they booked a three night dining package, which That's is why. why you have to wait. Yeah, you do. Date. I think poo -poo. they did talk about in like a class I was in not too long ago that they're trying to do it where you'll be able to make reservations in advance, but it's not ready yet. So that would be amazing. A game changer. That's true. Patty, have you been on any Asia cruises? We have not. No. I said, if so, what would you recommend? Yeah, we have not. Nothing yet. <laughs> uh, Picky Cruise wants to know, do you book Disney trips? I do but I am mostly sticking with cruises. I I, I can book Disney yeah, trips. Yeah, I think the yeah. answer is you can. I can. They're uh, but... not like my niche, though. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ben Ben Benitha Benitha. Oh, that's like. Uh, are the seas to Alaska really rough? Uh, honeymoon in two weeks from Seattle, so you're early May. They can be a little wiggly. Seattle's a little wigglier than Vancouver, I think. Yeah, just but something not... about the openers there. Yeah, you never know, I guess. But I wouldn't really say they're exceptionally rough any no. other times we've been. I mean, we've had some weird weather floating <laughs> out there. Um, yeah, probably just, I would say, expect average mm -hmm. cruise waves. <laughs> uh, okay, see, Melanie is giving tips for Edge. It may be confusing because you go into the planning area and it looks like you're going to pay for it, but select a dining room and it will be zero. So maybe Melanie's giving tips as to maybe you can book them ahead of time? Maybe. Um, Question mark? If in the dining plan, I think it's a little bit different. I don't know. I'd have to check. Yeah. Uh, Joellen, how long does it take you to edit each segment and what software do you use? Now, I never recommend what I use because it's so <laughs> old, it's outdated, and it's buggy. Uh, if you're looking to get into it, I would probably recommend DaVinci Resolve, which is a free program that does all the fancy stuff you need. Um, I normally take about three to four hours, I would say, to edit a 30-minute episode, and then it needs like an hour to render and processing. It's anywhere from six to eight hours, I would say, per episode. So every time you watch a video, there's probably six to eight hours of work in that video. It's quite a bit, yeah. So basically, one good work day <laughs> will make a video, typically. Yeah. Yeah. Um... 
AOK says, become a New York Mets fan for baseball. The old farm team used to play in Norfolk. The Tides, do they not play in? Uh, we went I to their kept... We went to a Tides game one yeah. time. Oh. It's cute. I don't even, I if the Fertilize Tides. I it was cute. That's I got cute. a little baseball thing with like dipping dots in it. The hat. Yeah. That's what I remember. If the Tides left, I didn't even notice, which is very sad. I hope they're still there. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we already talked about that. Jessica, when are you going to Greece, Italy, and Croatia? We are going this year. We have all this of them. summer yep. in a very hot heat. We're doing nine and a half <laughs> weeks in the mid. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, uh, this already got answered. Where do we find your P.O. box? Laura put that on there. In case someone finds the perfect yarn for D and you accidentally <laughs> crochet or something. <laughs> Okay. Aww. So, Laura, thank you for putting that in there. Thank you, Laura. Yeah, we put it in the description of every video just in case people want to know. Yeah. Uh, Nene, Nene, that looks like it says, oh, it says sip. I thought it said Nene slip, and I, that made my brain think of something. <laughs> It's after 9 o'clock. We went on Royal in 08, and now we're going on Celebrity. Will Celebrity accept my Royal points? Yes. Yep. They will match your status. They do. There, which is really cool. Yeah. You just go under your account thing, make sure your numbers are all in there correctly, and it's an automatic matching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. John says, Carnival will be in Jacksonville through 2026. Yeah. I think they're keeping, uh, they're planning on keeping, I guess, Elation up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As of now. Uh, on the go. When are we looking at Norway? That's why we will be in London jumping on Anthem out of Southampton. We're trying to cram it. Um, I think we actually have crammed it into 25 because there's a lot of regulations that are changing at the beginning of 26. Yeah, we want to make sure we get there before that yeah, happens. About only certain ships can go to certain areas. We've tried to make sure that we've booked a cruise that goes to those certain areas in 25 before they make those changes. Yeah. Yeah. John Christman, Norwegian, will start sailing out of Jacksonville with the gem yeah. in October of 25. Yeah. Well, we might have to go to Jacksonville. We've <laughs> never sailed from there. That's true. I've driven by it and waved a bunch. We, we, we went there. And we did. Like, walked around for a couple hours. Yeah, we went to a coffee shop and told the guy we were doing touristy things in Jacksonville. <laughs> he was like, he, he said, why? 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 <laughs> There's nothing so to do. And so we left. <laughs> He really did say yeah, why. Yeah, he was like, why? He was like, he had no idea why we People were there. People don't do that. <laughs> it's like, oh. Carnival will be doing year to year with Jacksonville through 2030. That sounds like so far away, but that's only six years. Yeah, true. You know, in six years, it's going to be 2030. Hmm. Oh. That's a long time. <laughs> oh, AOK -okay says I can't be a Red Sox fan because they sing Sweet Caroline during the eighth inning. No, thank you. <laughs> I will take the White Sox then. Oh, Rooster says the other bridge is lower than the key bridge. Okay, ah, so okay. it's the second bridge that is the uh, limitation. Mama Sipe, going to catch a can. Which totem park do you think is best? All right, let me cast my mind to catch a can. Well, we've done, we, we walked to one ourselves. Like, oh, was, yeah. It, there wasn't too many there. And then there was the museum. Yeah, and then we the did center. the one with the potlatch. Potlatch, yeah. Something and like that. And then there's another one, Saxman. Saxman. We haven't done that one. Mm -hmm. So, Saxman is the one that we hear about a lot. Yeah. I would say try Saxman, Saxman Native yeah. Village. But we just haven't done it yet. So. Do that. My brain almost went to sit. And let us know what you I think. Like, yeah, let us know about Sackman. Yeah, <laughs> and then Sackman. we'll decide if we can go. <laughs> That's funny. Um, a OK would like smaller ships like Spirit Class. There's too many floating shopping malls. Yeah, there's there a lot a of ships lot. that feel like that. Yeah. Kyle, cruising Norwegian from Quebec to Boston this fall. Any advice for port stops in Canada? Like, do we need to get Canadian currency or a preferred port for lobster rolls? I'd probably have to know what your ports are because we usually do Portland for our lobster rolls. Yeah. Um, Canadian currency. I usually use cards when I go yeah, to Canada. I don't think we've ever had to get Canadian cur currency. Mm. I mean, it's never a bad idea to do that. Right. But pretty much everyone takes cards. Yeah. If you're going to all of the touristy places, they usually don't really care. Now, Europe is a different story, and they really <laughs> want you to have them their euros or uh, pounds and yeah, things. Yeah, exactly. But Canada, yeah, I feel like you'll be okay. Or if it's trusted places you're going, I... You should be okay to use a card, which is what I usually do. Uh, Connie says, man, Alaska is mm -hmm. usually drier. Yeah. Uh, all right. We already did that one. Stacy says, love your necklace. Is it a sea turtle? This is your Amazon no, necklace. No, it's not. I thought it was a starfish mm -hmm. and stuff, like sea things, but it's moon and stars. But I still love it. It's like my favorite necklace. It's in our Amazon shop. Then. Yeah. That's right. Parodigia.com slash Amazon. Y'all, we're going to promote everything You can find a lot tonight. of things in there. Everything tonight. <laughs> uh, Xanthos, any plan on trying Viking cruise like a world cruise? Oof. 
I would not try a world cruise on Viking Me just because of the neither. cost alone. Yeah, I would. I um, think we would be broke. We would be beyond broke. Yeah. <laughs> so no. Um, but I mean, yeah, we would love to try Viking. Probably not <laughs> that extreme yet. <laughs> no, maybe like a, a like a seven day river cruise. That'd but be cool though. Yeah, not probably. But they not do ocean cruises cruise, yeah. too. Viking. <laughs> Would you like to sponsor us on a world cruise? Doesn't this look like you? Oh, perfect shoot. Perfect marketing, right? Uh oh. If I'm going to um, promote to the brands, I need to take this hat off. Unless I don't they think like they're this. they're going to take you seriously. Maybe they like this look. <laughs> Do I look like a Viking cruiser right now? I don't know. I, don't I look know. like a grandma out in the yard gardening in my sun hat. You know? At least it goes with your shirt. Uh, Rob, how easy is the check in for Enchanted Princess in Fort Lauderdale? Uh, I've never had any I mean, just as long as you're green laned um, in the app. You should be good to go. They show you where, you know, you need yeah. to go. Except we, yeah. one time we were Green Lane and the lady said we weren't. She made us go to the <laughs> We went to the it desk. They're like, why are you here? Like, yeah. I don't know. She was confused. Yeah, as long as you've done your stuff in the app, mm-hmm. you should be okay. Yeah. It's fast. Uh, two speed, a question for D. I get an offer for triple points with Norwegian on a cruise I already booked. Is there any way I can add the triple points or do I have to cancel and rebook? <sighs> They're really picky about that. Yeah. Sometimes it'll usually say it's good on new bookings only. I would give them a call and just yeah. see if they can add it. Their customer service is generally pretty nice, but you might have to rebook. Yeah, and, it's probably going to be. And pay the new prevailing rate. Right. Obviously. Read the terms and conditions. I bet it says new, new cruises only. only, new bookings. Yeah. Uh, Andrew says the heat and the AC turn off when the window comes down. Yeah. yeah. But if you don't feel yeah. like you need that Because they AC want the cool breeze. Heat, yeah. yeah. Matt was in Icy Strait a couple of years ago in May and it was 80. People were on the rocky beach like it was the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> don't funny. ever know. It's so unpredictable. Oof. That is the crazy thing. Oh, what happened up here? Lynn, thank you so much oh, for the super cute. chat. Lynn Faust. Victory. Victory. <laughs> it's I like that ship. guy. Thank you so much was for the chat. Oh, poor Victory. Our first that was our first ship. cruise. You just brought back memories of our first <laughs> carnival <laughs> cruise. You. Good old Victory. Uh, April recent Half Moon video was amazing. I've never been in. I definitely want to snorkel there. Yeah, you've yeah. had good turtle luck. The late, last lately, two times. Especially. That's just insane. They're just there. Yeah. So oh, cool. Daniel wants to know if you could only do one dance on a cruise ship, what song would you pick? Oh, man. One dance. <laughs> I don't know. Because, you know, stuff like Cupid and Wobble gets repetitive. So yeah. I don't know if that would I actually, actually be I actually really like the Biker Shuffle, which nobody up. really Moving does. It's a little more challenging, but I love that song. So I like it because it's challenging. I would pick that one. It has more steps. It has a lot it's more steps. More... So I don't get bored with it as much. Yeah, not the church clap. Because those oh people scared. When they came <laughs> up and did the church clap me out. in that one place. Do you guys know how to do the church clap? That's because freaky. These teenagers, or young adults, I would say, because they were in the nightclub. They almost, like, kicked me in the head doing that thing. It was funny. Yeah. Dino Diner, are you going to Little Diomede Island in June? We are. We will be up there for the summer solstice. We're doing the special Alaska cruise where the whole point is to be up there for the summer solstice. You don't get off there, though, right? No, it's it's scenic cruising. Yeah, scenic cruising around the Diomedes for the summer solstice. Yeah. Uh, Team Carl. Hey, Team Carl. Says you can sleep with the window down in the infinite veranda, but the breeze is practically non-existent and you might wake up sweating in warm weather. Hmm. They're in Alaska. But yeah, I know that's probably true. (laughs) Heidi says no on Havana for XL ships. Yeah, I'm also team no on that particular class. I just don't know class. if it's worth the cost. Oh, and Team Carl says also if it starts raining, they will close the windows on you. Interesting. Mm. Good to know, Carl. Wu Tang, is Yacht Club Balcony on MSC worth the price difference over a normal balcony? Now, see, we usually do Yacht Club Interior if we're going to go for it because um the price can, difference is a lot. If you're okay lot. with an interior and you just like to be pampered, do the interior but, I mean, Yacht Club is Yacht Club. So, yeah, I would spring yeah. for it. But, see, to me, <laughs> every, every time I look at the Yacht Club balcony it's price, crazy. I cannot pull the trigger on that one. Mm. I don't know. That's just me. A lot um, of times you get upgraded, though, because their ships don't sell out. So, like, every time we booked MSC, I swear we've been upgraded just automatically. Yeah. And they don't really, like, you know, who we don't be like, hey, we're on your ship. And, like, you know. No, it's but we have diamond <laughs> status, and sometimes mm. they pull you up for your loyalty status and stuff like that. Yeah, That could be. Uh, Laura Lee, we have a cruise through the historic locks in December. What do you think about cruising on holidays, Christmas and New Year's? We've never cruised over either of those holidays ourselves. You we've done Thanksgiving. Pay a good deal more for the same experience with some added like Christmas and holiday bonus, yeah. you know, entertainment and stuff like that. But and they're usually more crowded, busy with families, things like that. But if it's the time you can get away, I'm sure it's special. Really, when you get down to 23 ounces, this bottle makes weird noises. <laughs> It, we did a clunk. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, it's a good time because a lot of people are off work. You got, you know, family yeah. time. And if you want to do family time on a cruise, it's like that movie. It's very busy, though. Remember that Tim Allen, Jamie Lee Curtis? Cr- Christian Cranks? Yeah, ones? Christmas of the Cranks. 
Spoiler alert. They didn't go. Anyway, <laughs> I just spoil that for everybody. Donna, would you consider rating the ships you have been on? Um, be not now. to do um, because they're so different. If we had started that a long time ago. But see, I don't know what kind of ratings. I mean, I guess you would have to, like, rate the food, rate the entertainment. You'd have to kind of take, like, categories and then... Because we used to do wrap-up videos where we yeah. talked about stuff like that. We kind of wrap up in the end of the series. Yeah, we most, just... Most of the series, not all. That's true. Rotterdam... Depends on how tired we are when we make the last video. Rotterdam, we just woke up and we were like, huh, we gotta go. And we didn't, <laughs> we didn't even say anything. But I feel like you got a good feel for Rotterdam. Yeah, anyway, yeah. But... Um, yeah, I don't, we, we probably can't go back and retroactively do it, but no. I mean, an interesting idea though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, portholes and pixie dust doing celebrity reflection with carnival freedom back to back. And then the inaugural Margaritaville Islander. Oh, nice. With a 10 month old. Cool. That's cool. That's in June. Yeah. That inaugural, I think. I think we'll so. be like that's in Alaska, neat. but that's going to be awesome. Um, let's see. Anna, Ali says, cool. They have them in Grants Pass and they have farm markets and they have farm market in oh, all other parts of Oregon and stuff. That's cool. <laughs> There's a lot of places you can find good farm markets. I like them. All right. I got to uh, readjust. There we go. <laughs> it was, it was starting to creep back. I don't have as much hair now that oh, I buzzed yeah, it all it off hold it. <laughs> to hold it back there. Uh, Randy Campbell going to Bermuda with, oh gosh, celebrity in July. Would you try frog and onion pub after your first experience? At least did the other people's food look good. Thanks, Randy. Um, I don't know that I'm personally going to run to the frog and onion next time we hit Bermuda. I mean, I think it can be a good experience. Oh no, we have friends who said it's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. It's just, I would try it again. It always give something a second shot. Yeah. It was interesting service. it was yeah it was enough to where i am not immediately itching to go back. and the way but they handled it, it was not great either. yeah so give it a try i might not go with you though but. <laughs> oh the tides are still there i thought they were i kept thinking i saw norfolk tides games like last year uh jamie you can book them that way doing a back to back to back on edge in january february and my dining rooms are all booked okay so people i guess maybe are if you have that dining, the the plan. Well, package. dining room is different oh, than that, the you're specialty right. dining. So I'm still a little confused oh. as to what, yeah. Yeah, true. Okay. But yeah, no, dining you can book in advance. William, what would be your recommendation for a cruise line? It went away, uh -oh. but it was to uh, Canada and New England. Now, I don't know that anybody does Canada and New England better than anybody else. Funny thing is, we've only really gone on Royal. Royal. And, and then accidentally on Carnival. Carnival. <laughs> the Greenland cruise turned into a Canada intensive. Yeah. Um... And they were both good. Yeah, I would say just whatever cruise line that you like their style of, if they do one, just use them. Because yeah. I, I don't think anybody does it better than anybody else, really. Maybe just look for, like, the most time in port, if that's important to you, yeah. and go with that. Oh, yeah, okay, it says the Tides still exist, but they are the Baltimore Orioles affiliates. Oh. Okay, so the, the, it used to be that they were, I think it was the Mets, right? Now they're not. Okay, because you know I follow the sports. I follow the sports real good. I've been to one baseball game in my life, and it was the Tides. <laughs> um, let's see. Bob, we talked about Antarctica earlier. We're trying to shoot that for maybe 26. How about a world cruise? I, it would have to be a, a real um, enticing ship, I think. Yeah. Because uh, the ship is a huge part of it, because you have a lot of sea days. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it I don't would, know. It if would I not be Serenade of the Seas. No, um, that would not be my choice. Sadly, it would not be my choice. Uh, it would probably not be Royal Caribbean. <laughs> I would have to say it would be somebody else. Um, I don't know. Yeah, no, no intention on doing. A I like jumping right now. around because I like what's different about all the different I do too. lines. That's what I find interesting. So I yeah. think I would get bored. Todd, you talked about what to wear to Alaska in May. How about September? We're doing edge mid-September. Is it going to be cold? I know it will be wet. Um, the, well, the May, it can be. <laughs> the May rules also apply to September, I would say, except definitely a raincoat because it will rain on you in September. Layers. Yeah. It's a, yeah. So the, <laughs> That's your best advice for Alaska is layers and rainproof. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> and you'll be good. Uh, Angela, your beginning videos were mostly with Carnival. Is there a reason why you don't cruise with them as much? I think mostly because we've done almost every ship that they have out. We've done, I think we only have three ships left until we would complete their fleet. Yeah. We made the way up the loyalty levels until we got to their top level. There was nowhere else really to go. And then we decided to branch out and see what else was out there. And we found a lot of stuff that we like about, I mean, we like, we have likes and dislikes about every cruise line, Carnival mm -hmm. included. But funny thing is, what, three of our next four cruises? No, two two of our next three cruises, at least, are Carnival. Or yeah. Carnival Corporation. Yeah. Right. Well, actually, like all three are Carnival Corporation. That's true. Then, aren't <laughs> yeah, because we're getting ready to do the double Fernandes. But, yeah, no specific reason other than just we have done them so much 
that there's a lot of other things out there. It would be a lot of we, repeat the same stuff. Yeah. yeah. And we all, we're always trying to do something new because I always, I always hate uh, trying to do too much repeats. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Esperanza, which cruise line matches with Carnival's loyalty tiers? So MSC yep. matches and Virgin Voyages does again as well. Yeah, they just started to back up. That's the only, the only two. That's the only two we know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bob says, Jacksonville Port, you start on the ground floor and you have to climb up seven stories. Really? Oof. Because we ain't gone there. That's crazy. What? Okay, maybe we won't go to Jacksonville. Well, Long Beach, right you have now. to climb up that thing, like like you're yeah, in space. You do spaceship Earth or something like that at Disney. I'm like, what in the world? Uh, Alaska Thunder. What is a cruise? A good cruise to take for Aruba? I mean, for me, it would be any any, any ship that's going to Aruba. Yeah, if you yeah. like that cruise line, I can't think of a specific one that's better at Aruba no. than anybody else. Anybody doing Southern Caribbean that includes it. Yeah, that you like. Um. AOK says, no White Sox fan, become a Mets fan. But I like socks. <laughs> Just haven't met you yet. Bored PD, my husband and I are leaving on a transatlantic to Iceland on Prima ooh. this weekend. Oh, wow. sweet. Any transatlantic tips? Now, we ooh, this is we did the May transatlantic from New York to Iceland. Holy storms. So hopefully you will have yeah, better weather. Yeah, I hope weather. you have much better weather. Take some seasickness medication. I'm sure you already have that covered yeah. just in case because it can be wiggly and you just don't know. Wind can come out of anywhere. Yeah. Um, a lot of rain. Take, take that some, rain like, things to entertain yourself on sea days because Norwegian, while they try to do a good amount of activities during the day, they were lacking in that a little bit. Mm. Um, but I mean, no, I mean, you're going to have a great cruise. Oh yeah, I'm sure. But just, yeah, definitely something to keep yourself occupied probably yeah. is a good call. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jean says using cards in Canada gives you the best exchange rates. Yeah. Makes Whenever sense. I can, yeah. I mean, if it's a vendor I trust, like if I go to the Beaver Tails booth, I'll swipe a card. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, if I'm trying to give a tip to the spoon lady, I can't give her a card <laughs> though. So you got to give her some, 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 a loony, but a loony or a toony. toony. Donna, cruising in May to St. Thomas and San Juan. Which are the best beaches for snorkeling and can we take an Uber? Now, San Juan. I'm sure they have some. Yeah, <laughs> we have not been. found good snorkeling beaches in San Juan. That's more rainforest and culture for us. They now, have St. Thomas. Yeah. St. Thomas is great. St. Um, Thomas will be better. Yeah. But taxi is probably going to be your best way to go, I would think, cheaper than an Uber. Yeah, I mean, there's Megan's Bay is beautiful. Mm -hmm. The snorkeling can be good there. The last time we were there, it was non-existent. It was, it was terrible weather. Cokie. Cokie is my favorite. Yeah, it's it right has by the, the best variety. The but it's a very small kind of local beach. Mm -hmm. Sapphire, I didn't really see a whole lot, but we didn't. I know. We, it was late. We got to go back to Sapphire. Yeah. So all the beaches are beautiful though. Yeah, and there's a lot. There's I forget if it's Lindbergh, whatever the one is by the airport. Oh, yeah. We haven't been over there yet, but that's that's actually pretty close. Um, yeah. So I would say just grab a taxi. The taxis are easy. It's like, well, 10 bucks a person. So unless you have a bunch of people, I feel like a taxi is going to be easier and cheaper. But Ontario, have you ever taken a trip you wouldn't repeat? Um, Greenland. I, I would undo the Greenland cruise on Legend. 100%. I mean, we had yeah. fun on the ship and we loved the people yeah, that were like with us, but no. Knowing what we know now and how it turned out and how the non-reimbursement went and all of that stuff, that's the only cruise that I would undo and I would just not take that cruise. And it was our 50th carnival cruise. <laughs> Oh, uh, was that our 50th? <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Or we used our credit on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah So it was yeah. our 51st. Yeah, that's right. Because we paid a lot for that cruise. Oh the 50th gosh. credit was good for milestone purposes. Thank but yeah, goodness. that's that's the only one that I would undo. Like, I would even sail on Ecstasy in the Poop Room again. <laughs> just because that was funny. <laughs> I would sleep <laughs> somewhere else on the same ship. <laughs> that's true. Uh, which we did. Yeah, so Carnival Legend, that would get that would be out. Um, Jeremy, best place to get Euros, your local bank or overseas? I don't know for rates. Like when we did... Um, don't the, do it at the airport. I've heard the exchange rates are not good necessarily. Yeah. When we did British Isles, we bought money from our bank. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the exchange rate was okay. But I feel like just going to an ATM, ATM in that country, I feel like my exchange rate was actually better than having bought it from my own bank. That's what they say. Yeah. So yeah, we just, we went to like an ATM. I know I went to one in Scotland. I yeah. went to one in London and that was how I got the, my top up funds. But <laughs> Sherry only cruised once on Holland and played in the casino. When I scan my medallion to play, so I guess we're on Princess now. Okay. Uh, will I be automatically added to receive casino play? Because medallion is a princess word. Oh so. yeah, true. Um, 
Uh, Will I be automatically added? Oh, you mean like to earn points and things? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Every, every cruise line that we've been on really uses your like your room key essentially mm-hmm. to gather points to earn. Um, yeah, play don't forget time to like things. tap it in or whatever. You know. Yeah. Make sure. Uh, Andrew, you are right. D shirt and hat match. Yeah, I said that. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm way behind. Actually, I'm not too bad. Oh, no. Uh, Dennis and Colleen, we enjoyed the Alaska State Museum in Juneau. Yeah, we haven't done a lot of museums um, too much around That'd be Alaska. Cool. Only that rainy day one in Ketchikan that we did. Yeah, I like being outdoors in Alaska. Oh, Anna just sent a Facebook message. Thank you for that. I'll check that later on. Uh, and Anna says the YMCA song. You do hear YMCA a good bit on I ships. I do. That's true. But anything with an interactive dance, I tend to be okay with. It's the call and responses, I think, that get me. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, Dina says, turtle disco. Hashtag Rotterdam. <laughs> <laughs> turtle disco sounds fun. Uh, Max, question. When traveling to Vancouver, can you tip in USD for the hotels and cruise porters? Yeah. We, we have. Yeah. We always do. They they expect that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So anytime you check in the bags in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mama Sype wants to know, do you use compression bags to pack in your carry-on? I certainly do, and I love them. And this time, they did not have a struggle to yeah, zip up t- like they normally we do. Didn't I did have much to better. Them. Yeah, but it's the ones. We have the zipper-based ones yeah, that are in great. our Amazon shop. Yeah. Uh, Rick says, hello. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. <laughs> Kelly, question for me. Why don't you snorkel like Mermaid D? Would love to hear your underwater commentary, too. Now, see, there's, the reason for this is twofold. <laughs> One is I am not an excellent swimmer. I have done snorkel tours in the past. I think there might be three or four videos yeah. that do exist on our channel where I have snorkeled. Um, I usually do the things where you have the fins and it's like, you know, somebody's guiding you around and all of that stuff. I'm not very independent or speedy at swimming. So that's, <laughs> I love to float. <laughs> I love to spin. I'm just not that great at swimming. Um, but the other one is, it's also for content purposes. Like, I feel like if we both snorkeled, it would just be like you would have a five-minute snorkeling session. True. A lot of people. I would talk to the camera. You can. <laughs> but then you wouldn't get to snorkel. <gasps> right. Oh. A lot sad. of people don't like, you know, I try to keep the snorkel bits to like maybe 40 seconds tops. And, you know, you might get like three or four of them over the course oh, of the Oh, I'm in there for hours, guys. Yeah, oh my <laughs> There's gosh. so, There's so much, footage much footage for him to get through. Um, but oh, for sorry. content's sake, I feel like it's better to cycle between underwater footage. And then usually I try to give some information or run my mouth about something <laughs> stupid. Then we do underwater footage and back. Otherwise, it would be your underwater footage, my underwater footage, your underwater, yeah. my underwater. And you would end up with probably five minutes of straight snorkel footage footage with nothing breaking it up so in my mind it's also good for content sake that's my excuse anyway i'm looking uh, something up Jeannie says go to woody's in bermuda on the port and the pizza place at the clock tower oh okay we don't have any more bermuda coming up but i'm sure we will get to bermuda again hmm. um is this the thing you're looking yeah, at? yeah oh okay all right david zika she is going to be looking up your um answer so I'll read that one or something when you get there. Lynette, I like your water bottle D or the giving away during the inaugural season for at least one year. I think it was literally no, the first it was cruise. just the first cruise because the people didn't over. get them on the second one. Yeah, so the water bottles were literally the first sailing from my understanding. 30 days. Uh, oh, okay. So, so sh- David, your question is, you're going to be on Des- Disney Fantasy. Um, we'll be putting a placeholder down under mm. the impression that you only have 14 days to transfer to a travel agent. You have 30 days. It cannot be paid in full. And sometimes if you booked with an agent, it's automatically going to assign it to that agent. Can you request that it not? So you can request that it goes to a different agency, but you would have ah. to have that information. So just so you know. Okay. But if you book direct and you if book you a placeholder, you could transfer it. Then you can transfer that. it. Yeah. So, okay. Um, Max, another question. Any tips on how to navigate the terminal in Vancouver? Now, inside the terminal, we just follow their instructions. There's a lot. (laughs) Vancouver, the terminal, has the most steps of any place I have been. And it's never the same. It depends on the cruise line that you're going on. Yeah, so just follow their instructions. They'll tell you. The people will continue to tell you, go here, go here, here's your next step. I mean, the steps are generally... Similar, but yeah, I just listen to the people. (laughs) Stand up for equality, says, I guarantee if you go to Discovery Cove, it will be the best snorkel experience of your Uh, life. That's that thing in Orlando. It is, yeah. We almost went there when we were in Orlando one time. Man, Tiny Bubbles, would you wear that orange hat on Holland for their orange party? (laughs) I would if it was not such a pain to pack. It folds. I'm scared to squish it. You can take it to Alaska in your big suitcase. (laughs) 
I gave you to permission. wear it one day. Well, no, Out actually, 20, I don't know how many orange part. That would be weird. For on me. a twenty-eight day cruise, are they really only going to have one orange party? Is my question. I mean, would it be weird to have it more than once though? But we did a fourteen, and there was only one orange. Yeah, party. I feel like they're going to do it one time. That's so weird. <laughs> but I mean, I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, Darlene says, "What are the ABC islands in the Southern Caribbean?" Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. Yes, they were the Dutch influenced islands mm. down off the coast of Venezuela. Alaska has ABC as well. Oh, yeah. Admiralty, mm-hmm. Baranoff, mm-hmm. and Chichikov. You got it. That's the ABC islands of Alaska. Learn there you go. New, you guys. Man, that hurt my brain. <laughs> Whoo! Esperanza, any tips on getting from London to Dover? My husband and son doing a graduation cruise in August of 25. We'll have to leave that up to chat because we've only done London to Southampton. We have not done Dover at all. So chat, if you have any help with getting to Dover, chat away. And tag Esperanza if you can. (laughs) Uh, Tim, I was late arriving. Did I miss anything? No. It's just been this the whole time. Just chatting. Just chatting. And we'll be at the Forense inaugural event. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Before our cruise That's all we've announced. Yeah. That was it. Uh, Nathaniel, we walked to Save Agato in San Juan after seeing your video, and it was so worth it. Loved it. Yay. Yeah, oh, I hope. Kitties. I know. I hope the kitties stay there. People they keep telling us they don't really want them there, sadly. But I know hopefully. people keep telling us that the kitties might not be there for I don't know how long. But anyway, on the go with Yolo. One last question: Would you take an Uber to see Mendenhall Glacier? I wonder how much that would be. The only thing with that is that they're restricting how many people can go. Ooh. So if you don't book with, like, an organized tour, you may not get in. It depends on when you're going. Mm. I, I follow, like, a Juno blog or some Facebook page. Okay. So I don't know. I mean, it would be worth to go with anybody. but True. Yeah. I have no idea what the cost would be. Yeah, because I feel like starting with last season, they started trying Strict. to limit the number of people who could go in. Yeah. And so that's continued over to this season. Correct. Uh, Badger at Toad Hall says an ATM is the way to get money from overseas, but tell your bank first. Yeah, our bank didn't seem to have any issues with it. I didn't. I don't think <laughs> our I, bank. No, they're like, oh, they're than, gone again. Okay. Yeah, other than yeah, our bank is used to our crap. <laughs> other than having bought money from them, I didn't really tell them. Yeah. Whoops. Dennis and Colleen, what trip or ship did you see Turtles at Half Moon will be there in June? We'd like to watch your video again. Um, I've seen them twice. Yeah, the video that just came out uh, yesterday or today Mm -hmm. uh, was Rotterdam. uh, But what was the most Turtles? Um, It was the other Holland. Oh, New Amsterdam. New Amsterdam. (laughs) Yeah, so if you it's, check... It's like Carnival goes there, too, yeah. usually, so... Yeah, but check our new Amsterdam video, because that was our best Turtle Day recently, but then literally the the, the last video that we posted is also a there Turtle Day. One. <laughs> but hey, one is better than none, so... Spoilers! <laughs> Uh, Electric Ballroom, help us remember, on Celebrity, is Eden open to the commoners for breakfast and lunch? Yes, it is. It's open to all. The Eden Cafe. Oh, Eden Cafe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Eden Cafe. It's usually only on sea days, though. Port days, the hours are, either they're not open or it's really weird. True. Yeah, Yeah, the Panera of the Seas. That's what we call it. It's just like Panera. Panera. It's really good. It really is. Uh, Jay Aguilar, if a cruise line... We had this question a few live streams ago, didn't we? If a cruise line allowed you to name its newest ships, what names would you choose? Somebody asked us that. They did. And I don't even know what we came up with. It was something stupid. <laughs> it was I'm sure very good. I came up with something stupid. Let's ask chat. What name would oh. you give to a cruise ship? Mermaid. Because I really don't have one. You could be the mermaid. Mermaid. That makes me think of like the Lady series from Virgin. It does. Because their people are mermaids. <laughs> so you would just name a Virgin ship the Mermaid Lady. Yeah, that would be it. Nice. Mermaid lady. Uh, I don't know what I would name it. I need I need Royal to make a tiny, tiny little ship, and I could name it some little thing of the seas, like a little baby one. Because I need we need more small ships. Tiny in our of lives. the seas. The tiny of the seas. <laughs> wow. Larry and Linda, question. We get concerned about a medical emergency outside the U.S. Do you buy medical insurance through the ship or other? Yeah, we carry an annual policy. We definitely have insurance. And I recommend it to everyone. Yeah, I mean, I I would at least buy it individually for For each trip. trip, Yeah. Unless you get to a point where you're traveling enough to where an annual policy makes sense for you. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel says you could do a reverse snorkel where Jay snorkels and D does the spin stuff. Yeah, but then you don't get the snorkel. That would be the only disadvantage. It would have to be like where there's not very good snorkel. Right. Put me in the crappy snorkel <laughs> There's just snorkel like zone. some sergeant majors. I mean, I love them, but I see them everywhere. That's fine. But you. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> me and my sergeant majors. I would just snorkel and like after you were done and not film anything. <laughs> I would still snorkel. Nice. But what if I wanted to snorkel the whole time? You don't. <laughs> 
Jan rules. Snorkeled in Australia. The group mm. tour made us wear a wetsuit. It was like trying to stuff the biscuit dough back in the can. Snorkeling <laughs> rules. Yeah. Wet, mm, like a wetsuit and me wouldn't get along. The electric balloon. Oh, did a little... Thank you so much for your super oh. chat. It says, thanks for answering about Sea Day Lunch. Thank oh, you. Oh, there we go. I see it down there. Yeah, YouTube yeah. decided not to pop that up to the top for me to see. But thank you for that one. Gosh, I'm digesting. It's your stomach. I ate too much vegetables, and vegetables gives you gas, I think. But besides that. <laughs> it's just his stomach is grumbling. Y'all, if you hear some grumbling, I am digesting vegetables. <laughs> Yum. Uh, D, I like that name. If you are diamond with carnival, what would virgin match? We typically get all the amenities, but cruise with casino rates, so it's super cheap. Yeah, they change. So it used to be called deep blue extras. Now it's just called blue extras. Um, so it's still their highest match, but they took away like, I think it's the hundred dollar bar tab on each sailing until you sail with them. Four times? I think four or five times. For your, like, fifth time. Now it's a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. We we did it in the old match system, so I think we're locked into deep blue extras. I believe so, yeah. As long as you continue to sail. Yeah. They just redid their program. I think it was, like, the 4th of April. It was was early April. Early on, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Claire, do folks that own cruise stocks get any extra perk? Yes. I heard Carnival does if you own more than 100 shares and do any others. Yeah, there's a lot that will give you onboard credit perks Mm -hmm. for having stocks. I know... We only have Carnival, but that applies for Carnival, Holland, and Princess. Like any of those brands, yeah, we can get onboard credit. I know Royal does too. I'm sure they do. Other ones, they do, do. shareholders. Yeah, as well. their stocks were too expensive, so I didn't buy them. They were very. Expensive. I bought Carnival back when it was like seven dollars. So I think it was eleven. No, um, what is it? I have to go check my average rate it's, for my Carnival shares. I don't know. Kathy Perry for Jacksonville. It has the zagging ramp up to the Empress Deck 7. It didn't seem too bad for us. Gotcha. Uh, is it like, it's when you go up the gangway and you have to go. We've had some long zigzaggy gangways. We have. Yuck. Uh, YOLO, like the swag on Icon, it wasn't so great on Wonder. I heard. Yeah, a lot of cruise line. I mean, they just don't really do a whole lot for swag. So we were super impressed. We're like, whoa, every day. That's true. Uh, Anna says, what's going on around urgent care so busy with kids and adult sickness? Oh, starting to not feel good. Where's Nurse Nancy? I haven't seen Nurse Nancy tonight. She is on a cruise (gasps) on the Vista with Favor and Rob and Brandy and Dave and a bunch of other people that I can't think of. Oh, Sarah, um, Q's Cruisers. Yeah. Yeah. So some other people too. Yep. So she's having fun. Fun fact. We were booked on (laughs) that. We were. Uh, we were we're supposed, missing all of our friends. Yeah, we were supposed to be on Carnival Vista right now with all of our friends who got on yesterday in And Ricky Florida. and Laura were supposed to be on there, too. Yeah, we all were on it. <laughs> um, but when Carnival backed up the Firenze inaugural, we said, oh, no. Uh, and we decided to um, go do that instead. Thanks, so. Carnival. <laughs> Thanks, Carnival. Because, yeah, we were going to go to Vista and then Then we that, were going to go to Firenze. And then fly to the old inaugural right. of Firenze. Yeah, so we had to change that plan. That's all right. They're having fun. That's why we we never announced that one because it just came to not be. Yeah. (sighs) Ricky and Laura, we're still sad. We could be on a cruise right now. (laughs) Anyway. It wouldn't um, have been good timing for Mama, though. No, it would not have been. Lynn says, Jay needs the Vols socks to match the hat. Uh, Somebody sent me Tennessee socks. Yeah, you have some. I do have Tennessee socks, actually. (laughs) Hey. Mule holler. It was a pleasure meeting you two on the Rotterdam, by the way. I love your first videos. Funny stuff. Nice to meet you, too. No, I don't recognize the name. I know. Mule holler. (laughs) But I'm sure we would know the actual name. We would know a face. (laughs) That's true. Uh, there's people talking about the stocks. Kathy Perry, what is special on the Carnival 14 night journeys cruises? It seems the price point is higher than two seven days back to back cruises. There's a lot of extra special events like the throwback mm-hmm. sea days. We actually have a video on the channel that is like all about what makes journeys cruises special. I think it came out in 2019. It but still holds, it still holds true, up though. pretty they well. They haven't changed anything. Yeah, yeah, just a lot of extra events, and I love a good journeys cruise. Yeah, unless fun. it goes to Greenland. <laughs> <laughs> unless it doesn't go to Greenland. Well, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, Matt went ahead and rented a car for Juno next month. It was about the same price as the bus to Mendenhall. Really? A car? In the bus to, Ju- to Mendenhall? Like, Three oh, bus. oh. He means like the excursion bus. Oh. I got you. I was like, a car was like $3? <laughs> We're thinking of the city deal. bus because we, yeah, the city bus is like a couple of bucks to get out there. Yeah, then you walk like then a Then you and walk a, half. a long ways. I got you. Yeah, because it was like 99 bucks a person, I think, to do one of those express shuttles. And so by the time you pay yeah. 200 bucks, you could probably get no, a car. No, that's cool. Yeah, that's fun. 
Courtney says, don't be afraid to go to Alaska in April. We just got off Norwegian Bliss yesterday. Had an amazing time. Saw Northern Lights, yeah. humpback whales, and orcas breaching from our balcony. I nice. was following along because you were posting yeah. in the group, and that looked amazing, Courtney. I'm so excited for you. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, see, the Alaska and October are still the questionable times for me, but that is good to know you had a great time in yeah. April. And that the whales were there because sometimes... Orcas are usually there earlier. Yeah. <sighs> Daggone orcas. <laughs> YOLO of the seas. Of course, YOLO is naming it the YOLO of the seas. I love that. Uh, all right. Lynn says, if you guys ever go on a New England cruise. Oh, we've done three, I we think. We have. Um, I would love to show you guys around. I live in Fort Adams mm. where the cruise is docked. Love your hat. Thanks so much. Yeah, we've done. Oh, that's cool. I think we've done three because we've done two on Royal and then that Carnival one accidentally turned into one, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, there's people talking about Dover. Courtney also saw bald eagles and sea lions from the balcony as well. Can't wait to go back to Alaska. It's addictive. It's, oh my gosh. Don't even start. <laughs> yeah. We, we can't stay out of it. <laughs> nope. We've yeah. pretty much decided even on years that we weren't going to go to Alaska that we're going to I told Alaska. you I could easily move there for the summer and that would be fine. Just for the summer. Yeah, not the winter. <laughs> uh, David, question for D. When will Princess release the schedule for the rest of 2026? That would be a nice question. I wish I had an answer yeah. for it. They just, they kind of do it in stages. And, um, <laughs> y'all, it's gas. I can't I don't even know it's if It's 9 o'clock gas. Um, they do it in stages, so they should be releasing more in the fall, but they've been kind of just trickling them in like different destinations, like Australia and things like that have been announced a little earlier than I was expecting. So um, just depends. Claudine, have you ever heard of or known anyone on dialysis go on a cruise and receive treatment? Yes. I thought they I had like too. specific cruises for that, like back in the day as well. They, there are cruises that you can do that on, but I, there's a lot of like stipulations with it. Mm -hmm. You have to get in touch with the cruise line about. But I believe they can handle it if yep. needed. Yeah. Melody says the parody of the seas and J. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in order to make the name <laughs> oh, work. Yeah. Because that is the order of the name, so that makes sense. I just call it the DJ, or the JD. <laughs> Courtney says, took a cab to Mendenhall for 30 per person round trip. Took us right to the visitor center. Yeah, nice. see, taxis and things, that would be the way to go. I don't know what the whole thing about limitations, maybe it's well, when more ships in are April. in. Right. Yeah, I was going to say, okay. right now, it's not an issue. But yeah, I would say like August, peak season would maybe be an issue. Yeah. A-OK. -okay. It's not like you're missing the Tandor on Vista or anything. Now, see, Vista never had a Tandor, <laughs> right? It's the wrong class of ship. That was the dream class. True. I'm going on Splendor again. I need me some Tandor. <laughs> Board PD, another transatlantic question. How is the internet situation in the middle of the Atlantic? Now, everyone we've sailed on has been fine. As long as the weather is okay. Yeah, if the weather's bad, there's, yeah, not any guarantee. Yeah, because the satellites, the satellites get in the, in the clouds and stuff. I don't know how satellites work, but yeah, we've been fine because we've done what? Viva? Prima. Prima Viva. And then I guess if you look at the other side, it was Emerald Princess, but that was Pacific and then Norwegian Spirit yeah. was Pacific. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Laura oh, says, we're Laura. not talking about it. Two different vacations for this week and couldn't do either one. Yeah, I know. Because even the backup plan to the plan that backed up didn't back up. But look, at least we got some stuff. We, we, got we made some plans. We've made. Now, they're. Out Not there. super soon. They're out there a little ways, but at least we did make some plans. We we got stuff in the works. <laughs> and Matt says, yeah, not the city bus. That would be one cheap car rental. Yeah, be like, <laughs> I, I got, like, I got no. my car for $6. <laughs> Rick, do you guys take cruises that embark in Norfolk? We have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not in a little while. I think we did Bermuda on Magic out of Norfolk. Yeah. Uh, October of 22, I think that was. They're supposed to be closing down for some renovation, but they've had to obviously kind of halt that yeah. for now. Yeah, they, they need to do some work a yeah. little bit on that terminal. So hopefully they'll come back better than ever. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, let's see. I'm at the bottom of chat, which is good. Melissa Hi. is watching us from the Ruby Princess about to sail away from the Wheelie Wheelie. Oh, so cool. I believe you would remember the captain just from his voice. Think leader of a minion, minion. army. You've got Gru. You have Captain Gru. <laughs> That's not his name, but he sounds Ooh, like Gru. Captain it's so funny. Gru. That's so cool. I hope you have a blast. Yes. Or having a blast. Yeah. Little Peach, can you let us know again where to see the story of Orange Hat? Yeah, Orange Hat's origin story is in the Carnival Ecstasy 2019 vlogs. I think it was 2019. Uh, yeah, the original Carnival Ecstasy series, yes. Now, I don't remember the origin story of why it became the live stream hat. Yeah, I have no idea. But <laughs> it was so long ago. But the procurement of Orange Hat started on Carnival Ecstasy with the poop cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Leah, what hotel do you recommend when cruising out of Miami? We just go where mm -hmm. we can get a deal. 
Um, we don't There's really we don't really have any go to. A lot of people recommend a certain comfort in, I think, and yeah, you know, like the brickle I, area or something. Yeah, pretty much anything near the airport. We search the airport and find the best deal. That's we just can. us personally because we don't do a whole lot of like exploring Miami before we go. We're usually working. So yeah, oops, somebody says Symphony at Seas offers dialysis, dialysis at, sea. at sea. There, there you, you go. go. Yep. So dialysis at sea. Hey, thanks, Chad. Yeah, I knew there was. Uh, Donna, any tips for enchanted princess places where there are less crowds? Uh, Not specifically <laughs> on enchanted. Though. They have a lot of like lounges and stuff. So yeah. During the day, they probably shouldn't be too busy if you're allowed to use them. That would be a cool hangout. Yeah, true. And let's see if Chat knows anywhere. So either Sky Enchanted or Discovery, which are essentially the same. Any sneaky, quiet places to go. Because you always think like an observation lounge or something, but that's where everybody goes. Uh, yes. Uh, Those are do. never quiet, sadly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Cheryl, have you ever stayed in aqua class on Celebrity? We have not. No. I want to because, um, yeah, you can eat at, like, Blue Restaurant. Oh, Which yeah. is, like, the spa kind of menu thing. That would be cool. Ooh. At some point, we should do that. Let's do it. Okay. Right. Deal. Hey, okay. <laughs> you oh, heard yeah. it. <laughs> Orange Hat U109 and the scary, oh, the scary elevator voice. I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> Good gracious. Love the Carnival Ecstasy. Yeah, good old U109. I need to put that somewhere where my head doesn't block it all the time. <laughs> U109. U109. You see that classic relic right back there? All right, let me block it. If you it. know, you know. Block it with my head again. Wu-Tang, Miami. I found good deals in Miami near South Beach. Nice. Okay, love it in 10 to 15 minutes from the port. Yeah, the further you get from downtown. Yeah. And the port, the, the better off you're going to be. Yeah, we usually like the airport. We've stayed as far away as is it doral what's okay wait oh yeah if i'm looking at a map and the port's over here and there's the airport there's an area that's like even further it's the west side of the airport we've stayed over there and i can't think of the name of it we got ants in our car over there so maybe don't oh stay my over gosh there. that was the we worst. left our car literally at a, well the thing I don't was, know where they came from. There was a, an extended stay hotel over there. Yeah, Doral. Okay. Doral. Or, or Doral. I'm not sure how you say it. Um, that it was an extended stay hotel that didn't issue parking passes. And so we just left our car there for like two weeks or Maybe something. don't do that. But. Um, but we had to take a stinking long Uber to the port and an Uber back. And then we got ants in our car. <laughs> they were there for a long time. It was time. karma. See. Yeah. I don't know how they got in the car. It was karma. <laughs> hmm. They're gone now. A OK, when you visit Turkey, say hello to Ecstasy. Yeah, she sails <laughs> out of there now. I don't know. I looked up um that's Aliaga. Aliaga. Right? Is that Aliaga? I've <laughs> I don't think we're anywhere near there, sadly, but I looked it up. I think it's like a two hour drive. Nelly, you're answering one of my questions in a roundabout way on accessibility in Miami. Oh, I was thinking airport hotels too. Gotcha. Uh, Max, wait, somebody, oh no, I missed that one. Oh yeah, because somebody said the hotel in the airport is a no for them. We never stayed in the airport. No, no, no. Like I know uh, Port Canaveral or Orlando, I mean, has one of those too. We've stayed around, like, most of them. <laughs> yeah. Max Young, what is the highest rated shower? So far, it's a tie between the Pinnacle class on Holland mm-hmm. and the Leonardo class on Norwegian. They oh, all have yeah. received, pretty much all have received nines. That's the highest a ship shower has gone. They're good. They're nice and big, yeah. Yeah. I do like those. Uh, Kim, silly question. How long have you been married and how did your cruise life... Oh, gosh, y'all. <laughs> Woo! Them vegetables are going to get I me. I still don't know if they can hear that. We're going to have fun later. Oh, God. Uh, and how did your cruise life start? I know how it's about to end. <laughs> honeymoon or simple vacation? Well, the honeymoon's over right now. <laughs> um, I, I don't know specifically to get in how long we've been married we, and all yeah, that stuff. We don't really fine. get into like super personal um, questions, but nothing against yeah, you. But our, our cruise life did actually start because you... It was your idea to go on our first cruise. Correct. Because you had always had like dreams and wishes of well, going on a cruise as a child. Well, my mom always yeah. promised we'd be going like the big red boat cruise. I don't even know if people remember that, but like we never went. They so said I, they heard that one. Excuse me. <laughs> so I've always wanted to cruise. And so we kind of planned it. It wasn't our honeymoon. It was, you know, a little bit later, but. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a delayed honeymoon. Yeah. Yes, but. Yeah, but that was the, your fault. And then it's also you were the first one to come up with the idea of doing videos on a cruise ship because obviously we were a parody music channel, yeah. which is where Pero DJ comes from. Parodies with DNJ. So Pero is for parody. Not a lot of people put that together. Because <laughs> we have like 30 old songs on the channel. If you dig back to the history of the They're channel, we were, a mu- we were a music channel. 
Um, yeah, so parodies with DNJ, you started, you were like, let's film a cruise. And, well, oh, I just gosh. wanted to make memories for ourselves to yeah. look back on. So it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> Several yeah. years later. Look, see, everybody heard. Cause see, what, what's happening right now is not to be. It's after nine o'clock, so nobody cares. As I'm, I'm holding in mm. gases that are being emi- emitted. Great. By these vegetables <laughs> in my stomach, and so when you hold them in, they go and they back up into anyway. You're gonna go out there. Right? I got about two minutes until I'm gonna have to go to the other end of the house. <laughs> And I might jet propel myself into the bedroom. So Please you go one way. Please think of me, guys. Think of me later. <laughs> Remember me. Uh, Tandor of the Seas. That would be oh. amazing. Ernestine says our first cruise was the big red boat. Um, Aw. Do any cruise. Oh, wait. I missed the. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's do. Um, okay. Yeah. Claire Cox. Does any cruise line go from Southern California to Alaska? Like Long Beach. They usually go from San, San Diego Fran- or San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco might be about as far south as you're going to find a last. Yeah, and they're usually 10-day uh, cruises. Yeah, if you went from, you might be able to find one out of Long Beach or L.A., and it's going to be probably like a 14 to 16 day, but I don't any. think I have either. So um, San Francisco would be yeah, probably the closest. San Diego. <laughs> and then Blue Foxy, which I missed because my stomach distracted me. Uh, family of five want to go cruising on Carnival for the first time. Should we get one or two rooms? How does Carnival do with five in a room? You can put five in a room. Just keep bear in mind the the space is going to be really limited. I would always suggest, you know, if mm. you can afford it in your budget, do two, like, connecting rooms or rooms right next to each other if you can. You're just going to enjoy it a lot more because that is a yeah. lot of people in one room. Okay. Somebody said that L.A. does have one, but it's long. So it's a 16-day on Grand Princess, mm. somebody pointed out. Cool. Yeah, so you can find ships that are doing, like, two-week-plus cruises. But people are vanishing me to the couch. Y'all, it's 10 o'clock. I'll be staying in 109. I'm at the bottom of chat, and I'm going to... Um, He's got to go. I'm going to go. <laughs> Literally. Uh, and I'm going to have to avoid the room for a while. So I'll let you go in there and relax, and I'm going to go to the other end of the house. Well, there's another bathroom. <laughs> Well, I don't really need... Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. It's not that desperate. It's mo- Five rooms. Y'all, it's after 10 now, so we can talk about this kind of stuff after 10. We do have five rooms. Well, we have three No, they rooms. said... Oh, yeah. Oh. No, he said five rooms for five people. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so five yeah. in a room. No, you need five rooms. So one person in mm. each one. Clean up the Chick-fil-A for tomorrow. Y'all, thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Especially the last 10 minutes got real weird. <laughs> but as they say, prayers up for D. And I like Judy's comment, Jay's veggie tales, because that has oh, more than one meaning. Veggie. That's great. Tales. I love it. Y'all get it? Please don't. <sighs> we love you guys. Room 109. <laughs> yeah, I need to take the U109 sign with me to the other end of the house. Y'all, Stay thanks for hanging for out for another videos, stream. <laughs> so we are going to California. Uh, we will not be live again on a home stream for quite a while. Mm-hmm. We will let you know when that will be. Uh, but it's going to be a while. Yeah. But thanks for hanging out for this one. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Become a paramaniac today. Socialize all our media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep. And until next time, rock, rock on. on. Wish me luck. I'm going to the I'm going the other way. We're gonna all right. bye. No, we're looking to win our separate ways. <laughs> all right. Good night, y'all. See you guys.